You don't have to do anything. Just drop it. Or drop it. Hey, 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 hey. Let's check this audio. Where is show the where's the thing that shows the black eye with the uh handicap? I think it's over there. Check, hey. Okay, sounds great. What's up? It's TV Mike. Who else would it be if you're watching TV Mike TV? We are in blazing, absolute highest quality broadcast you could ever get, technically speaking, on the YouTube channel, and the highest 4K, deepest resolution possible. Uh, check out Billiard Net on YouTube. We're just getting started here. We have 128 players. Obviously, the auction took quite a while. It's a split bracket. First ever eight ball split bracket. The highest rated player is Jeff Beckley, who's a nine. Shane McMinn did not come, so there's no nine minus ones in it. And this one here is Sure the table twenty one or twenty three I wouldn't know. Brian's got all that. Sorry, Tamir. Um we got the legend Troy Jones from Muncie, Indiana. Who's playing as a seven against my friend and uh one of the the dude that probably drove the furthest to get here. Tyler Chess is playing as an eight. So it is a six seven race. Tyler spot in the game. Let's get it, kid. Hit that share button. I'm going to share it, obviously. This is John Wayne's Pub and Eatery, home of the Midwest. Bar Table Classic, a legendary event, which I'm very proud of to be a part of for so many years. Again, we're in blazing 4K. You will not see anything better than this. 
if you're at home, make sure you're on your YouTube app and you find the Billiard Net page and watch it on YouTube. And nothing like it. All the way up front. It's manual. It's a 6-7 race. He's spotting you a game. It is not online. It's on the wall. All the way up front. Troy Jones. I've known Troy for many years, man. This guy's a great guy. He's a very accomplished bank pool player. He's done very well at the Derby and banks. Um, he gives instructions. He's gone through some health issues, but his knowledge is is really there. Uh, um, is there a bracket online? Not online. I couldn't tell you. The brackets are over up front. Sorry about that, sir. Here, give me some money. $2,000 choice. $55 for three spots. Or if you want to buy six, I'll give them to you for 100 which is stealing. Because they're $20 a spot. Troy is doing a seminar next weekend. I've seen it on his page. Um, I'd have to look it up. He's going to be guest commentating sometime. Here, brother. I mean, you can sit there. You can. I mean, you can sit over here. I mean, whatever you want to do. Um, I mean, there's a cord around here, but somebody stole it. I don't know where it is. It's right here. You can use that for a minute. This is actually a good bench to even possibly bet on. Either way. I know we just started the high side. We have about seven tables we're going to play on the low side. You're playing a what? You're playing a six? I mean, I think it's it's probably a 5-5 five, five race, but let me double check. If it's a 6-6 six, six on the high side, it's a 7-7 seven, seven race. Okay, he's right. You got called? Good luck, brother. Play hard. He's back there on the safety meeting, guys. <laughs> yeah, cool. So, they haven't called any of the uh, lower brackets at all? Probably very shortly. Short, okay. Well, I mean, it's tough for me to say because they're over there. Check. Hello? Check one, two. Yeah, you're good. So, yeah, I got two horses in this race, which is enough for me. But I got a horse on the, on the bottom side and then the high side. I planted them all over. This is going to be pretty awesome. Any pile. Uh, 128 players, split bracket. This is the first ever eight ball split bracket. First ever. Yeah, there's split. never been a eight ball split bracket. We did a six and under um, eight ball. That's pretty awesome. 128 players. <clears throat> yeah, sure you. Yeah. Probably uh, we don't even know yet until they start adding. But uh, it's it's a lot of lot of dough for the Calcutta. So I got my buddy Travis Gillespie here sitting in. He's from Chester, West Virginia. 
What's up, guys? Steel City Bill, it's my turn, Bubba. I know you've been doing. <laughs> I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give you a break, my man. You do a good job with them. I apologize for Tyler the other the last night or the other night. <laughs> oh wow. So, guys, we are at John Wayne's, uh, I guess, sports bar. Or, I mean, there's like, God, it's, it's really nice in here. It's a really nice pool hall. Hell, it's like we got 24 tables in here, all diamonds. Um, really, really fast. It's really, really fast tables. <clears throat> We've, uh, we brought some guys with us today, only a few from back home. We have Mackie, we have Mackie, we have Tyler Chess. We have Rodney Wolf from Morgantown, West Virginia. We have Paul Moss, came with Tyler. I drove up by myself. Let's see here, this is the first game for Tyler. And one thing about this format, uh, Travis, so you may know, it's winter break. This is a winter break format. Okay. So the handicap, you know, he's given weight, but okay, this if he is, controls the table. This is a 8-7 race, correct? It's a 6-7 race. Okay, Tyler goes a, to 7, okay. Troy goes to 6. Okay, 7-6 seven, race. Yeah, but they're rated... Eight to a seven. Gotcha. Tyler gotcha. Chess. They're just they just go down one. Yeah. Gotcha. Tyler. I mean, if you think about it, you know, I mean, a lot of the the tournaments are like race to whatever your rank is. Oh yeah. And it's but if you do that here, you're yeah. playing races to eight, like, eight and eight. We'll never ball, get done. It'd be like four or five hours. Yeah, we'll never get done. But they would uh, be long. It would be long, yes. But Tyler wins the first game here of the set. He's got to get to seven, and uh, the gentleman he's playing has got to get to six. Seven, six race. We are live at John Wayne's in Indiana. Packed house today. Full field of 128. Yeah, and there's a lot of like lower skill players here. Oh, there's a bunch a, of guys came up here. That, oh, what's your Fargo? Oh, I'm like oh. four seventeen. He's like, you're a three. I'm like, damn. Yeah. I mean, Mackie's got to give him a three three game spot. Yeah. That's brutal. You got to give him a, a two game spot. You know, I do believe that this is the first time that I've ever went more more than Mackie. <laughs> oh man, that's a, that's a, called Guinness. <laughs> Guinness Book of World Records. Yeah. Oh. I appreciate you guys coming on here, man. I mean, like, I didn't even barely have to promote it, even though me and Brian yeah, are it, partners in the event. It, he he posted it once. It filled up quick. And he had so many people that just got on a list. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I was like, Brian, you do realize if I, if I promote this, I'm going to bring another 10, 20 guys maybe? <laughs> It filled up. So quick. he's like, "Oh, you don't need to post it just yet." I was like, "Well, I'm gonna post it because it's sure." Yeah. I want some guys that you know familiar with my page and absolutely my following to get a chance to come. Next time is gonna be a strictly prepay event. Yeah, so this is the first time we ever done this. Oh, absolutely. this has never been done before. This is fantastic. 
And I should have bought Tyler. Uh, I think he went for two hundred because nobody went. knows who he is. But correct. I was like, dude, let me get a quarter. He's like, ah, I can't do it that cheap, for man. 50 bucks. I can't do it. <laughs> I don't blame him, man. You drive six, seven hours, you know, from here. It, it's. Yeah, there's a lot of tough guys in here, but he's yeah. playing good right now, man. Yes, he this is. is. Strong, man. Yes, he is. Real good. He should uh, finish this rack up. Should be two nothing. He just drove here, man. They didn't sleep. No. They just drove Him here. And Paul. Le left at three or four in the morning. God, yes. He's playing real good. Job. Two nothing, Tyler. Damn. Two nothing. What's up, Mackie? So, uh, what? Okay, tell me, uh, talk to me about icebreakers. I went to bed. Oh man. What? What? Uh, what? What inspired? Well, I had like 10 games going over there. It's a pool Good room in Lord. Youngstown, Ohio. Well, I seen Dumpster Jim lost two sets. He did. To Jacob Bach. So that means I lost money. Uh, that's the only two sets that I seen. It was know. like 10 games that took place that night. Wow. Who, uh, who played who? Uh, Dunbar played Bill Romy again. Bar table eight ball. And then big table nine ball. And Dunbar won both sets. Oh, at Icebreakers? He did. Oh, wow. Race to 15, they were both uh, for a 1,000 a man. So they're pretty much even. Well, because the night before, yeah. Romy it, won. Yeah, yeah, correct. And then I bet on Dunbar there, so I lost there. Wow. So. Some good pool lately, though, actually. Well, did you, did you bet on Dunbar up at Icebreakers? I did. Okay, okay. So I won a little bit there. Okay, good. Um. Did uh, did my man Rodney get into Greece at Icebreakers? Yeah, he played uh, Travis. Travis Knoll? Yeah. Good. What? How'd that go? Uh, Rodney won. They played races to, what was it, 11, 7, or? No, they played races to 11, 9 ball. Huh. Cheap? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Did uh, I noticed you wrote down who were who were coming? Did uh, Danny Martin? No, they didn't make. They it. didn't make it. No, and that Jim. They should have made it. Jim, uh, Spine I think Spinelli. Yeah, but Tyler came. Dalton Crum came. Kevin O'Malley. Oh wow! Did Dalton get into Greece? He played Rodney one-handed eight ball or something. What Sitting the hell? For race to three for <laughs> fifty or something. Oh, that's good shit. Troy's got to get it in this set. I mean, he's, listen, this guy is very he's, well known yeah, in he's, Indiana. He's, he's been got, around a long time. He's got a problem ball. He's got a lot of respect from people in this area. He could get this problem ball out right now. He used to own the APA in the whole area. Oh, really? Yep. That's not going to do it. He, he might, uh, he might have got there. Bad. I can't see. Can I think he's okay. Oh, well, if he, he can make the, the ten, 10 ball. He can make 10 ball. He's okay. Yeah. Those tables are definitely fast. Well, I know the owner is very um, good businessman. I mean, he's, he really takes care of the equipment. Um, I mean, you obviously weren't here last night, but. No. If you come in here any night, all the tables are full. Wow. And it's pool league. Wow. Almost any night. My God. Me and Rodney came in here. It must have been 10, 11. And I'm like, you see this, Rodney? I was like, this is all APA. He's like, what? Wow. The whole place? I said, yes. <laughs> APA is very large in Indianapolis. Wow. It has been for many years. And this is the biggest room around. I mean, I don't know any table, any rooms in Ohio that have 24 diamonds. No, I don't either. No, there isn't one. Uh-uh. 
definitely not is. There are not 24 tables anywhere. Is he kind of on the wrong side of this ball? He's going to run into the five, right? No. Oh, uh, no, he did, he did all right. Yeah, he's he gets okay. Hooked. He's okay. Ooh. It's okay. All he's got to do is... No, uh, he can see it fine. Yeah, draw back uh, low left and play the eight ball on the side. Or we're in the corner. Either whatever he wants to do. He's got options. Yep, corner pocket. Give a shout out to Sickles Custom Cues, Jimmy Sickle. He's the local cue uh, maker as well as uh, maintenance tip repair guy in this area. He sponsors Troy. He's playing with it, Jimmy Sickles. Nice. It should be a really good match. Troy actually gave lessons to the Payne McBride almost as for a long time. Oh, wow. He's from the same area. Wow. He's giving lessons to Tyler's got to spot him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's but that's sick. what the numbers are. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's rough in his split bracket. Two to one. Oh, Tyler's got to stay up. You just drift, huh? Back him off. Yeah, just leave him. Tyler's got to stay That's up. That's him unless you're cheating. Tyler's got to stay up at all, stay up one at all times here. Because he's already spotting one game. Right now, they're back to even. Yeah, I mean, on the board, I could say he's got two, and then it's an even race to to seven. Correct. But then people will kind of lose. Oh, they, they don't, they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to say that. So as far as on the screen, it shows what the player's rated. Sure. And then yeah, to the right, like it's going to say what the race is Correct. according to the player like, on the left, the player on the right. Like Tyler is... He is an eight, but he's got to go to a seven. He's got to go to seven. Yeah, we just modified the races a little bit just yep. to cut cut him down. Troy's a seven, and he's got to go to six. So this is going to be a long weekend. Way up there, brother. Yeah. Be a long weekend, guys. I'm the assistant. You're the assistant. I'm the, to the, I'm the ghost tournament director. You're the <laughs> I consulted. And obviously we did get started late, but they could get the doors open earlier than 11. Well, that was kind of really crazy. Yeah, I it mean, did. It, it delayed our tournament. But 30, 40. But once you get this thing started out of the gate, it's like one of Booker's dogs. There's 24 tables here. You're yep. off to the races. you got a lot to work with. Well, you you got 30, 40 players out on the sidewalk waiting to get in and the door's locked at 11 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, that's... You have a monster tournament like this, you got to open up at 9 o'clock. Preferably, sure. Is there any uh, certain time uh, that he is shutting this down tonight and resuming tomorrow? Or what are we doing? Uh, is is there only one Calcutta in this for the weekend? You know, I'm not <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure about that. But if you do a second Calcutta, you'd have to do it on both sides. Well, when we do our, it's only the final sixteen when tomorrow. We did, when we did our um, six and under, we did two Calcuttas. When we did the Midwest Bar Table Classic, we did two Calcuttas. But well, that, that's the reason why I, I don't ask. know. Not sure. And we you didn't talk about that actually. You really don't. You really didn't know how many that were. Uh, well, this has just never been done. Period. I mean, like tomorrow, you don't know how many's coming back. 
like Final 16. No, we have to totally just look at where the brackets are at. Okay. Might be Final 32. This is an experiment. Might be Final 32. You know, who knows? But then again, you're right. It, this is this could be very long. <laughs> but some of these low side matches, <clears throat> they're not going to take that long because there's threes in there, there's fours oh, yeah. in there. Absolutely. I but agree with that. They're going to be shorter races. I agree with that. I think he's What's okay he here. With this? What does he do with this seven ball? Well, he can make it in in a corner. Just draw back. Draw back on to one. I don't, I mean, I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, is it? Is it What's that? No, right above, right above the That's table. That's way over there. Right above the table is, is your, is what you keep score with. The balls. Oh, the beads, yeah. Or the bees, yeah. Whatever. He must not be able to get that seven. I don't I think so, man. Him. That's why I'm saying, like, yeah, he must he's going to have to break into it or, or yeah, fall behind the seven. He can fall behind the seven and play it down in here. He's almost corner. straight to hell in on that ball. He's going to have to put some junk on it. Good stun, yeah. a little far, so, but it's in front of the 11, so it's, it's makeable. Just a, yeah, just uh, you don't need to watch no. a hit or nothing. No, just make the it's ball. Just if he's gonna make it or not. Make the ball. And he may run. Hit. He may run into the eight. That's what I'm saying. Just make the ball. And you don't want to push it on that side rail no, much. No, not at all. There you go. Good shot. There you go. Tie it up, boys. That's a little, moved a little bit further than what he would like to, but he's definitely swinging in. Oh, you have to. God. Well, he's 640. <laughs> yeah, good shot. Well, it's tied up here, too. Man, two. this is a... A good match. A very good match. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I mean, this is a really nice tournament, but uh, it, it's kind of, whew, I don't know. Uh, I kind of, I, I rather go alternate breaks than, than winter, winter breaking. Yeah, the problem with that is that it, it's handicapped, so it's it's. Any of those type of things are, are winner breaks because if you're giving up three games, if you control the table, you can. There's nobody in the high bracket that they give it three games. Well, yeah, there it's is. all tight. Yeah, there is. There's only Jeff eight. Jeff Beckley's a is is an eight. Yeah, and there and only goes. Or no, he might be a nine. And it only goes down to. I think he's a nine. It only goes down to six. That's two games. Seven and eight. Six plus one's in the low side. Well, I will tell you this. That's that's the only reason why that that's the craziest thing I've seen. That too, six plus one in the low side. If a nine plays a six, oh it's yeah, it's an eight five race. Yeah, that's three games. But here you can discuss. I this didn't know. Like. I didn't know that. Uh, so there's nines in here. I, I believe so. I didn't see no nines. I mean Beckley's. I know there's no nine minus one. Nine minus one okay. is, a, is a seven fifty or above. That's the only reason why I said that. So that, that. would be D. Atkins, Dennis yeah. Hatch. I can't even think of that. B if Billy came, yeah, something like that. That's that's the only very reason. few players would qualify. That's the only players. reason why I thought there was just eights in this. I I didn't see no nines. That's but there's a nine minus one. That's seven fifty and above. I got you. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. Anybody. If Mitchell was here, he'd be he'd be a regular nine, I would think. Yeah, he yeah he's not seven fifty. But you got Brian Wilson, you got um, Jeff he, Beckley. Jeff Beckley was the first open bid. Yeah, he's on an the eight. High side. Is he an eight? Yeah. I mean, he's a strong player, dude. Oh God, yeah. He's like a high end shortstop. Yeah, I would say.
someone to come make a call. I need someone to come make a call. Well, uh, I, I don't know, know if Brian wants to do yeah, it. Yeah, you better let him. Because I don't go know ask the, Brian. You I know. don't know the rules. I mean, it's I mean, BCA rules. Is it BCA? Yeah, but if it's BCA if rules, if it's dead frozen, you can push through it. Okay, but you B, still have to watch it. Double BCA head. rules. Is it open when you break? Yeah. And you scratch. It's it. You the cue ball well, can go the, anywhere the, on the, the table. The other guy gets the choice, but yeah, but anywhere on the table. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brackets posted on the wall up front. Unfortunately, that's just what it is. Yeah, we're going to get that all day. So, uh, did you see the gentleman that was talking to me earlier? He's an instructor around here, Timothy Plenor. Huh. He uh, he threw me 100 bucks to promote his, his business. So nice. I appreciate that as a sponsor. Very nice. Uh, the link to his Facebook page. Is in the post. Very nice. Make sure to go like him. He just started his Facebook page. So I'm watching this match. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the first round, Freddy. I'm surprised you're not here, actually. Hundred and twenty eight players, brother. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. First ever eight ball split bracket. Hornbeck's watching. Nice. We got Travis on the mic with me, all the way from Chester, West Virginia. Did you hear Paul Moss? He's like, yeah, these guys are from uh, <laughs> Pencil Tucky. That was hilarious. They don't border each other whatsoever. Then he's like, they, they're like, Tyler Chess, can you raise your hand up? Where are you from, sir? And he says, I'm from he says Illinois. Gar he, no, he said Gary, he Indiana. Said Indiana. <laughs> That's where Michael Jackson was from. I love it. <laughs> that was, He's like, no, that you was, that was fantastic. We know that. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> well, this is going to be a wrap for this. Man, Troy is playing exceptional, actually. I haven't mm -hmm. seen him make a mistake yet. I did tell you this dude's a legend, but you know, didn't put too much time in. And You're good, sir. So that's a nice advantage for Troy since he's getting a game spot. Sure. Telling me. That's what I'm saying about the split brackets. I mean, the only thing here playing split bracket eight ball is the only thing in this tournament that was kind of weird to me is they put the six plus I one understand. in the lower bracket. I mean, it's I kinda, almost had a heart attack when he's like, this is what we're going to do. And I'm like, I've never no, heard, we can't do no, it like that. But I've never heard of that. I was like, you don't want to keep an open mind. Yeah, that, that, that. We did a six and under already two months ago. And I was like, Brian, we need to do some stuff together, like where it's my name on it, your name's on it. We work on it together. And he was like, yeah, that sounds great. Um, and then we planned this big monster tournament. 
once we got a date. Um and when he when he said no, I'm gonna put the the low sixes on the low side and, and the regular sixes on the high side. I kind of flipped out because I'm like, listen, the logic says that most of your players are gonna be sixes, yeah, or fives. Oh, yeah, sure. Because you're not gonna get too many threes or fours to pay hundred dollars anyway. Just but the, it just is a, it is a handicap, so you might get some people to be like, okay, but. They think, you know, they have a chance. He's frozen. He's definitely 100% frozen. Wow. What's, what is it? He said they, it was bullshit. They called, he said, it's uh, frozen. You can push through it. It's frozen, and they called it, no, it was not frozen. Oh, well, I don't. I don't know. I have I mean, no information. I'm I sitting I, in a chair right I now. I don't either. So. I said most of the players are going to be sixes. So if you want, you know, to fill the high side, it's going to be like all the short stops and stuff like that. Because sure. there's only 40 spots anyway. Sure. Um, but this, I mean, it, it worked out. So we just, we got to see how it plays out. Although most people were like, well, why would I be a six plus whatever? Sure. Because there's no... I'm not giving, nobody's giving me weight. Yeah. Because I'm on the low side. True. But if you get to the end in the final four, yeah. there's a six plus one and there's a six from the upper side, the spot will come into play. Correct. Correct. And that's the only place it will. Yeah, that's that. That's true. Um. And some people, it's you know, they didn't, be, it's different. It's um, definitely going to be interesting but we still filled the field so people are at least willing to take a chance at it it's definitely going to be interesting and there's a lot more threes in this than there would be if you did any other tournament sure oh yeah there's threes and fours i mean i counted sure a few that just came up to the table like i'm an apa four okay well you're a three sure oh, there's a couple three plus ones I mean, I would say it is frozen. Oh, man, that is frozen. No shit. Lost in the game. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Rodney. Yeah, well, that that's terrible. But when you bring a ref in, and they... <laughs> mm-hmm. I do believe that was that Greg. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if Brian did it or not. I mean, not Greg, but yeah, Brian. I, I, I don't even know who Rodney's playing. I don't either. I could uh, Rodney's on the on the upper side because it, he actually qualified to be on the low side by his numbers, but he would have rather played. There's a couple of people that wanted to play on the high side regardless, yeah, because they're getting well, the spots. T- oh, and there's only there's only and it's a smaller players. bracket, <laughs> yeah. so it's a smaller tournament. Sure, you have to, there you is. have to go through. Absolutely, I agree. Totally agree with that. I can tell you who Rodney's playing. All right. Brett Charlotte. What what is he? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna say something real funny here. You remember when um Tyler Chess was uh I think it was Trayvon. They were gonna play and I set the game up, and I made this crazy ass flyer, and I was like, "Okay, well, Tyler Chess is spotting ten games to blah blah blah." He's like, "I ain't doing that," but but the whole thing with Tyler was is that he's gonna soft break once in a while. He's not afraid to soft break, even if you're yeah. gambling. And yeah. A lot of people don't like that, right? Sure. A lot of people don't like that. What is what does Troy Jones do right off the rip, right in that rack? He's soft broke. Yep. So. Well, I say no. Uh, Tyler's probably like, oh, okay, yeah, because Tyler will soft break if he's if he's scared about running out or yeah, yeah. wants to slow the game down. Sure. But a lot of that stuff, uh, if you're gambling and you're soft breaking, people don't like that. 
it's obviously a legal break, but it's like, well, you can I've run out. Let me bunch. see if you can think, too. I've seen it a bunch. Yeah. How many days on there, Mike? Um, well, there's 30 on Facebook. Oh, wow. I don't know how many are on YouTube. YouTube's feed right now is absolutely the best thing you'll ever see. That's fantastic. It's full bit rates, 4K. I watch it all the time. Um, here the internet's fantastic, so. Oh, that's great. I have no issues with that. Great. This is this doesn't look good here. We could actually play high center, play that chin ball. Slow roll that ten ball in and pop that nine ball out, play that twelve ball on the side. That nine ball go. I don't think that nine ball goes now. I don't, that, I don't think so. Uh -uh. I think he hit Seven's too close. He hit a little too hard. Well, we'll see. We'll see what he, uh, goes down here. Reposition the balls and pray. Yeah. That's, he's digging himself a hole. The 14 does go in the corner. Yeah. the nine goes in this side but it looks like it goes in this long corner yeah but it's up there recorded real precise position you better believe it i mean he's gonna have to play a 13 and come back across the table play a 14 in the corner and try marty to play, did not come try to play that nine ball inside he had to work follow that uh, 14 in the corner oh, he, he overcut, overcut it. it stood up a little bit too. yes he did but i mean tyler's got problems yeah, but uh, that's where the safety play comes in effect. Play that four ball in the corner pocket. Play your cue ball behind the behind the two ball. Hit your seven. And play your two ball. Yeah, get fr freeze them on that. Free that's yeah, good. Ab absolutely. And then you you you'll be breaking out your two seven. Beautiful shot. Atta boy. Beautiful. That'll work. Can you uh, can you play 
you play that one ball low left and uh, spin that ball off the rail and go behind a 2-7? Is that what he's planning on doing? Trying to, get, you know what I mean? Just he get doesn't have much rail to do it with, actually. Just to, just to kind of... And you, and you don't want to hit it hard either, you know. Yeah, just like that. That's exactly what I was talking about. Beautiful shot. I don't know if... Uh, I think that was a really it's good open. shot. It's open. If he gets behind the two, obviously it's... Yeah, I mean... That that's was, the goal. That, that was the well, shot. he left it open. That was the shot, though. You know, to play, play it behind there. Now that nine ball is wide open, so it could be... It could be curtains. Four to two. And, uh, Troy's going to six, though. He only needs two. So it's a five two race. Correct. That's brutal. Especially when he's shooting like this. This gentleman here is shooting lights out. All right, I'll go. Up that eight ball out of there. Broke dry. Let's see if uh, Tyler can capitalize here and uh, run these balls out. Couple treble balls now. Follow through and the three ball off the rail and off the 11 in the corner. Play that seven ball on the side. Oh, okay. It goes clean. There you go. Play seven ball on the side. Two ball in the corner. Eight ball on the side. Nice. Job, buddy. Tyler's hanging in there. It is a four to three, and uh, he's got to get the seven, and Troy's got to get the six. So it's a uh, four, 
two race right now. The split brackets are brutal, absolutely brutal. Well, guys, we got the hometown boys here on the stream. One of Tyler and the other one, Rodney Wolf from West Virginia. They are both up right now playing at the same time. And uh, me and Mackie and Paul Moss are setting, setting on the side, waiting for our names to get called. me a long night and a long day. They're still tallying up the Calcutta, so it, it's it's gonna be really, really good. Tyler looks pretty good here. Still got a hiccup on that nine ball. It's that five ball shutter down, so we'll see. We'll see what he does with this nine ball. These pockets are tight, guys, here at uh, John Wayne. Real tight. Very, very fast tables and uh, very tight pockets. Assuming the nine goes past the eight, but I mean that's pretty close, man. Wow, I don't think so. I mean, so, what else Mike. are you gonna do? Set up for a bank? Well, I was just telling him that's, that's it. That's the only thing that I'm waiting I mean, that's to not see. Not bad, really, what from here, gonna... especially with this angle on the fifteen. Well, that's the only thing he's gonna have to do is set up for the set up for the bank because I mean, he's it's not gonna be do or die, probably. Correct. Well, unless Tyler... he ducks off. Tyler was getting out. He played a four ball in a corner pocket. And, uh, I was I was promoting to a bunch of the indie groups. And it was. Oh, he's going to duck up in the corner. He may have got him. 
I think he did. See how him. fast that table is? It almost come back out. I think he got him. He did. Oh, he absolutely did. Yeah, he got him. But then that table is, table's brutal. So. These tables are probably redone twice a year, and I'm telling you, and I'm not bullshitting. They are played on almost every single night, the whole they're, room. They're fast, and they're, as I was telling the gang here, the pockets are very, very tight, and it, the pockets are very, very tight, and uh, the table is very fast. All of them. They play really good. Oh. Well, he doesn't need to bank the nine now. No, not for sure. Well, if he can still gonna make a shot though. You can play that fifteen in the corner corner. I mean he's I think oh, he's, he's gold. I think you play in the side. It's not too bad. Well he's gotta come he gotta cut that in the side, then come back down table and come back I don't know. I think you play on the side. He's playing it in the corner. He is. Well, at least he's looking at it. Well, yeah. That, that, that's, that would be the shot. You know, you make that, it, it's... You play the 15, and, the, and then again, I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's going to play it on the side now. He changed his mind. He missed it. He overcut it. Oh wow! That's oh, a there, big break that's for Tyler. A big Holy break. cow! My God, that could be tied up four-four. This, this, this—that was huge. That was huge. That's exactly what Tyler needed, especially in his spot in the Good game. Good job, buddy. Spot yeah, he the needed game. that. 4-4, four, four, spot in the game, still one of the spots. The spot's still up, so we are looking at a 3-2 race. 3-2 race. Yeah. With Tyler breaking. Interesting to see if he, if he opts to play a safe break. This is really a good match. This actually should be an even match, to be honest with you. But, I, hey, I'm just here for... You're here for the chicken bites. Just Believe here for me. the chicken, the chicken bites. bites are really good. I just came up to eat, dude. That answers the question. Six ball. No safe breaking. No. Oh, three to eleven if he had the three eleven. Well, he kind of broke safe. Kind of broke pretty purpose. Damn good. Absolutely. That's tough. I don't Man, know if he's got a shot at all. He doesn't. I don't think he's got one ball on the table. Yeah, it's clean. Absolutely doesn't have one shot. Well, he's got the three eleven ball. Is the only balls that are tied up. Guys, check out the uh, YouTube channel, Billiard Net. It's got the blazing 4K. Watch it on your TV at home. Well, I would if I was there. Yeah, you normally do. I do. <laughs> I do. That was a nice shot. Man, from where he was at, that was a that's really a nice, great shot. That was a really nice shot. I don't think there's an open ball outside of... Cut the one all the way up there. Uh -uh. I don't think so. Hmm.
Shout out to everyone back in uh, Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia that's watching. But we'd love to reach. I mean, normally on my other page, my billiard net page, I'd have all kinds of people from Indiana, Illinois, still in there. the hell did he do? I was, I, w I was texting. I had my head down. Holy shit, did he play that one in the corner? Yeah. Holy shit, he Damn. made that 12 ball in the yeah, corner. Yeah, he did. That's That was his, or on this side, that's a strong shot. I didn't see it either for a second. I didn't either. Well, he's going to have to, uh, man, I don't know how you get the 11 out from this angle. Wow, shit, he's going to hit it right in the face. That wasn't a very good lead. Not though. quite. That was not a very good lead. I mean, if you're going to go for that shot to, to actually break that open, I think you hit it more aggressively to bring the cue ball somewhere else where you may leave yourself another option. I don't know why he tapped it. Hell, you can't tap that. you got to hit it pretty good to bust it the hell out of there. Are you sure that you will try to get that cue ball back up in the middle of the table? That was a good That's shot. a monster shot. Yes, it was. That was, monster. The, that was the winning shot. Yeah, it's a strong player. Not yet, and 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 also it's he and this. He said he's going to give me a tip. Very nice. When I get my. I hope it ain't. And I I hope, that's nice. I hope it ain't bet. Don't, don't eat yellow bet snow. On, don't bet. <laughs> don't bet on the horses. <laughs> Oh man, I bet on the horses too much. My kind of horses. Yeah, not the four-legged horses. No, no. <laughs> Mister Jones is on the hill. Yes, he is. He needs six, which he has five, and Tyler needs seven. So we're looking, guys, at a three. I mean, one. honestly, like you don't know Troy's story, but he's he's been through a lot. He's got some medical issues. Um, his 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 wife of a long time passed away a couple of years ago. Wow. Um, she was the best player in Indiana. Wow. One of the best top, Tammy Jones. Wow. Yeah, I don't um, know. Well, he's, he's been through a lot of medical issues and stuff. He he's gone to the Derby the past couple of years. He's a big fan of bank pool. Wow, well, he's sure in the hell playing pretty strong here. He is playing really strong. I didn't think he was still playing this speed. Yeah, he's <laughs> strong. He'll probably come and do some guest commentary with me when we do the Midwest Bar Table Classic. He was always one of my oh, yeah strong supporters. That's cool. We did an action match with the. Uh, Shane Winters and I want to say Shannon Murphy played 10 ball. Oh, I did the show and he came up from Indiana to, to guest commentate. Very nice. They played like a 10 ball set for like 4,000 or something. Oh, that's nice. 
few years ago by now. But he gives bank pool instruction, and he's working on a seminar where he's intending on going through an outline of things that top players don't typically teach younger players. Oh, wow. Just little tips, probably how to do this, little tricks with spin or what. He's got a whole list of things. Sure. Huh. Information that people don't pass on easily. Against a ball like that, that could... If he could make you a six ball in a corner, Tyler might have an opportunity. Ooh, it's tight. I, I, I can't see it. I just can't Listen, see it. Listen, I'm right behind this ball. That's you real see that? tight. But he's going after it. I mean, it's... Shit, he made wow. that run ice. Now he, he can make did. the seven. He did. Shit. Um, well, now, if he makes the seven ball, use low left, and get back down table for the three, four, shit, he... That's he close, too. He's got to spin this ball. He's got to spin it, sure. He's got to throw this ball. Yep. The window's there, but it's a little bit of bigger of a window than what it looks on the screen. But he still has to spin it. Ooh. What's he doing here? I don't know. I wonder, man, I thought he was going to go down table. But the, if he went down, then you could play the four, split those balls open. I don't think that, ten, that two ball. Yeah, or if he, he, he saves it. Yeah, that's real close. Man. Ooh, that's tight. <clears throat> yeah, he's going to spin it. Yeah, there you go. I can't hardly see over here on the table. You know what I mean? It's hard. Angles is different. Yeah, you know, they're they're always different. What's up, Mike Seuss? Mike Seuss is playing with his wood today. What up? He's playing with my wood, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I put Rodney in the box against the gentleman right na- right to your left last night. He chucked it. Fucking West Virginia players. Yeah, Rodney <laughs> did lo- he he did lose. It was a race to seven for two hundred. <clears throat> Man. This is a golden He's opportunity gotta, like, for him. Stung. Okay, that's called feedback, so turn the gain down on the microphone. Yes. Ooh, look at this. Oh, wow. Dude, he's playing really good. He's, he's Troy playing is playing good. very good. I mean, I know he plays. I mean, he's a legend, but, like, I didn't know his game was at the speed it is right now. And this boy's spotting him. That's strong. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's hanging in there, man. He's he's playing balls to the walls. He's playing it good. I mean, I just didn't know, like, if Troy was playing, like, the way he could play. Because all this stuff going on with him and stuff. He plays a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's a 2-1 race. He's funny, though, because I was talking to him. I was like, dude, you know, how's it going? How are you feeling? You know, because I know about, you know, his personal stuff. Sure. He's like, well, you know, I get tired. and He's like, I think it's about time I don't even play anymore. And now he's playing like this. He's <laughs> yeah, playing 700 I, speed. I, I, told Brian, I told Brian that. He's, he's like, what? <laughs> he's playing strong as He's like, yeah, I'm just, I think I'm going to quit soon. Yeah, he's playing great. Uh, wow, stripes. Tyler's yeah, going to play real ball. good here. My God, does that hit the tennis? Holy Lord, does that look good. Oh. He's got a golden opportunity here to get out. It could go hill. He gets out here, it could go hill, hill. Yeah, there are brackets. It's on the wall. It's not online. But I will do my job and go over there and take pictures of it. It will be Hill Hill if he gets out here. It's a Brian Gregg old school bracket promotion. And I'm doing one table stream. It's just too much to do. Oh, Tamir Kurtbach. And that's who you played? Okay. I know him. What was the score? Wow. 
I seen Shane McMahon run a thirteen pack on that guy. He ran the whole set out. It was Jeez. it was winter breaks, nine ball template rack at one of my events. Wow. He played a safe in the first rack and the Shane McMahon just ran everything. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> but the template rack really helps you. Oh hell ball, yes. Man. It's kinda like a Yeah. It's almost like a gaff. Yes. If you're good enough at it. Yep. He's coming up there, short kid. on this ball. Yeah, man. but he can go to the rail. Spin, spin, spin the ball off the rail. Yeah. Come back down table. He's going to get lucky to get to to see this ball down oh, yeah. here, though, because he's got a lot of traffic, travel. Yeah, but if he spins it to get out of that mess. He's going to be able to see it. It's yeah. tough playing a guy, spotting him a game, and he's playing great. Oh, no shit. Tyler's playing good. Yes, he is. But when you spun, like you said, there, nice shot. But he's got to see Kitty. this ball. That's the problem. Oh, see? shit. See, he's got to see this ball. Oh, my God. What? What happened? He said some guy just ran a five-pack on him. Damn. Who's that? And the low side? Who was it? Well, what was his handicap? Six plus one. Well, hey, it is. You're six thirty, John. <laughs> He's a six twelve. I have 6 no 12. idea. I didn't see the bracket. Wow. That's bananas. Wow. Holy hell. <clears throat> You're gonna get that in this split bracket, guys. I that's a, <laughs> I mean John's a strong six twelve. Yep. Hey. Especially when you play, when you see the table the way John does. I but see, if I you see, don't get to the table, I see the three. I'm gonna have to go see, who, you know, who he played and yeah. all that. But I, uh, I seen a three run a three pack. <laughs> yeah. Chris Mitchell's not playing, Jerry. He was gonna play, but he's not playing. Mackie's on the B side. I'm gonna have to go look at this bracket. Bird should be done here. Huh? He should be done. Oh, yeah. He should be. Well, should be. The way he's playing. Never know. Should I get him doing? What? What's that? That's the problem in sitting in front of a computer. Oh Everyone God, thinks you know yeah, something. Yeah. I don't know nothing. No. Nope. He could have run the bracket here. Yeah. Where we, where we kind of did sign ups, but. True. What? Troy's on the hill. He's on the hill. Tyler needs Tyler two. Tyler needs two. Two one race. This guy here. One. I think the greatest is on that rail. He's going to have to play the walk first. Yep, there it is. He's going to get back on that rail. That's his little instruction thing. Straight in. It says eight ball chump. It doesn't say champ. It says Straight chump. I mean, you don't got to like Jack on yeah. balls, but he's all right. That was a hell of a match. I know that. Yeah, I'm going to go run up front, pick another game, and take pictures of the brackets. Nice game. Good shooting, Troy. You're shooting good, man. I'm going to take a break, guys. See you a little bit later. I'm like, this dude's old. I don't know how he plays anymore. <laughs> Damn wrong. Well, he just got off the couch. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. 
Yes, and when you get up there, look for me. See where the hell I'm leaning. Yeah, and, and check to see where the hell I'm at. Good shoot, my man.
chair. Just trying to figure out what you didn't have over. Yeah. Yeah, it's automatic. Okay. Yeah, they have it. Uh -uh. I told them. Yeah, not yet. He had some. He had somebody in the wrong bracket, so he was like trying to figure that out. Oh yeah. shit! If he's just doing manual brackets on his car. Did you happen to look for me? No. Don't look for me. <laughs> it ain't a big deal. Mackie Law School thing in Boston. Yeah. Did you look him up? I just, he was right at the top because he already, he played closest yeah. one both times. The bracket's like this long. I posted up my page. He went. Huh. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you did that. Top three. Oh. Hold on. Uh, yeah, on your? Yeah, wait, Festo? You had a five. Oh, oh did I? That's why. Oh, I got it. I got it. came here with him. And we just practiced. We just played each other for five hours. Wait. Now we got to play him? Now I got to play him. I mean, it's probably random. That's crazy. Yeah, wait, wait. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to play people I go with. It does happen around. like that a lot. For no reason. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Did you pick a game over here yet, Brian? Huh? Did you pick a game for 15 yeah. years? Tables up? It's been a, That's the one that Troy played on. I'll pick a good one right now. Hey. See it? Yeah. Man, I'd like to use that in that bracket with that game. Man, it's hard to fucking see on there. Wow. Man, this is old fucking school. He's, yeah. Man, that's what he does all the time. Holy fuck. I ain't gonna play for a fucking... I mean, yeah, it's my event. I ain't gonna play till... I ain't gonna play till morning. <laughs> Fuck. They call me once. Honor breaks. Yes, 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 yes. yep. I'm going to go out and lay down. Why don't you, you, it, you hear my name, holler at me. It's going to be oh, a you while. You going to go to the car? Huh? You going to go to the car? Yeah, fuck. Okay. I just beat up a little bit, man. It's driving all like that. Well, yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, just, just call me. Yeah, call me. Just call me, brother, when you hear my name. I'll be out there. I'll loop my stick here. Are you okay? You good? Yeah, yeah. Did Martin win? Yes. But he had to. Otherwise, he wouldn't be playing Jordan. He's playing uh, Jordan Davis. Davis. Yeah. Already? Yeah. Damn. Is it playing over here? Okay, yeah. You got to play a little bit.
Am I telling you or who, who am I telling? John? Yeah, sure. Are you guys both eights? Double check. Okay. Uh, for all the way to the opponent. I gave it to you months ago, John. You just never took it. Are you an eight, Jordan? So it's a seven six. I think so. Nine on an eight, it's an eight seven race. Eight seven. Eight seven. Take. You want me to? Yeah. I will for my boy Jordan. Oh, he decided to do it? Or Jordan, you lost a flip. You lost a flip. Bro, it's all these heads. Did you call tails? It's all these heads, bro. Hey, Jordan, it's all these heads, bro. Check. Hey, what's up, guys? It's TV Mike back in action. We got a hell of a game here, man. This is nutty. What's that? Oh, you picked it? I mean, it's not. It was going to be? Oh, yeah. This is a good game, man. Uh, Jordan's a nine. 
So it's a 8-7 race. Jordan spotting one gain. And Martin's a monster. So, I mean, this could go either way, especially with getting a game. I play Buckler next. I mean, this is a monster game, man. This will be like a two and a two, three over seven. Yeah, go ahead, put them on. Yo, yo. Seems pretty comfortable for me. All right, we got Ryan Hogan's jumping in. Hello. Who's a who's a really good six in this tournament in his own right? Got a, a great matchup here: Martin Zavala and Jordan Davis. Illinois versus Indiana. And Martin's been crushing that second ball break. Martin is a sponsored Jacoby player. Martin's got to be like a 690 or something. Jordan's like 7. 710? Oh, is he up there now? Is that far? I remember probably five years ago he beat Bergman in the Midwest Bar Table Classic. He beat, he beat Feder here two years. Ago. That's right. He beat him. He beat him on the for the chair, but then he got double dipped. Martin breaks him as the first one. Why is that headphone so low? Could be my voice. That's better. Dude, everything's bell gets not. Oh, it's all good. It's just all wires or you know. Thousands of wires for this. Do you know who uh Mark Mark Boren is? No, it sounds familiar. Mackey was up three zero. And apparently he ran a five pack. Yeah, that's what I don't know I where. That's what I heard. He said he didn't play. I mean, that's strong. He said he was up I think he said he was up three to one and broke dry and didn't get a play again. It's pretty strong in the low side, huh? I I mean I don't even know the guy. Maybe they're calling six. That was somebody. I have no idea. Yep. See how he hits this ball. Jordan's going to have a chance. Nothing went in. See what, the, see what the kids got here. So, if you guys don't know, this is one of uh, Northeast Indiana's top players. Yeah, it plays plays everything really good actually. The bar table and big table. So yeah, I mean he's like the. Actually, I think he he would be higher than say Adam Martin. You know he's. Yeah. He's one of the shortstops here in Indiana. He doesn't have to beat Adam, but yeah, he was. I would say he's definitely a, a little favorite. But. Jordan Torres. And Martin's close too, man. Yeah. Martin might be, he might be 695, 700. I was talking to Jordan outside a little bit ago. He said he, his last set, he won 9 to 2. It was a 9 5 race. He said he might have played the best set he's played in years. Troy's playing really good, man. He just played Tyler Chess. Troy Jones. He's, man, you know, I mean, he's playing real good. Student of the game, man. He, so much knowledge. Yeah, he's gonna be, he's gonna be tough to beat as a seven. Thank you. 
Jordan, did you hear him call you? Has uh, Rodney played yet? He's. I, I don't know if he's done, but he was playing and um, he got an un, right. unfavorable ruling. I guess I didn't. He he said the ball was frozen. The ref said it was, and I don't know who the ref was. It might have been Brian, but I mean, he took a photo of the ball. He's like, this froze it. I don't know who looked at it. Maybe Brian did. Huh. But I'm not sure. Who's he playing, do you know? I don't know who he's playing. I gotta take a picture of that. I gotta look at the, I have some brackets. I posted them. Oh, did you? Yeah, it's on Mike Poole. Oh. And uh, I tagged Brian in it. He probably shared it, but uh, I mean, he's super busy, so I'm not sure. Pretty strong shot Jordan just played there. Let me see if I can figure out who he played. I'll just roll this forward one or two rails side. Yeah. He's drawing it. I played Brett Charlotte, and I'm not sure who won. I reckon there's a name, but that's it. Yeah, that's sounds familiar. To pull up the bracket here. You posted it on your page? On my page, Mike Cool. And it's probably on TV, TV as well. If it posted. Okay. Pretty strong shot there. I didn't even realize he still had a nine on the table, honestly. Wow. I just put it on the TV mic page too. A little funky here. Who do you like in the high side besides yourself? Well, I mean, I think everybody likes herself, you know, but uh, there's a, there's a few. Ah. Me, you know, if I play good as a six, I feel like I can get there. But I, yeah, I feel you're a strong six for sure. There's a few, man. You know, the eights and nines, you know, they're with winter break, they're capable of breaking and running the set on you, you know. Uh, there's a few. Jose Laura. Him is a six. That's pretty strong. 
I mean, he plays pretty close. I think Rodney plays to you. Good. I mean, yeah, I would say he's got a little. He might have a little higher tournament gear. He just he plays great tournaments. Your buddy Rodney. That's, yeah, he's a, he's a great six. Uh, Brian Wilson is an eight. That's pretty strong. You know, Brian getting spotted from guys like Beckley and Jordan. Jonah Bunch is a good player. Troy Jones, I mean, you got to like, you know, Troy Jones has to be one of everybody's favorites after that first that he played against Tyler Chess, you know. As a seven. Yeah. Tyler didn't play bad at all. Troy just Troy's a machine. He played he played great. Twelve here trying to get the thirteen ball moving. Maybe have a shot at it cross side after this. There's there's a lot of great players, man. You you know, there's a handful of them that definitely have a chance at winning it. You know. I'm surprised I didn't get to see um, any Michigan players because Michigan strongly. Supported the Midwest Bar Table Classic. Yeah. I mean, obviously, this is not the Midwest Bar Table Classic with 7,000 added, but. Still, I mean. It's close, and a lot of those guys could have drove down there here was, easily to play. There was eight or 9,000 just in the. just in the, the. I don't have a total yet. No, but there was eight or 9,000 just in the high side, Calcutta. I think it was like 8,800. I'm going to say there was probably. 12 or 13, if I had to guess, on the low side. Maybe maybe 10. I'd say right around 20 grand in the Calcutta. Definitely going to be a good payday for somebody. The low side, man, that's such a crapshoot, you know. So many players. I mean, there's a bunch of threes in there. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if there's like super, super strong threes or not. But if you're getting three games to six, I know. Uh, you what, gotta what's be what's super, one super, super, super strong that player. Was, I mean, come the, on. the kid from S and B, uh, Dominic. Perkins. Oh yeah, Dominic Perkins. Yeah, he was a monster three, huh? Wow. Wow, that's a lot unexpected. Yeah. Well, to Dominic's credit, he only been playing a couple of years, really. Yeah, plays, but, I mean, he's young, you know, yeah, but he does. He plays really well. They play in the Valley's nine ball all day, every day. I mean, that's what they do. They don't even know how to spell eight ball. Yeah. Try to get Mackie to play some guys down there. They're like, what? We don't do that. Up front. <clears throat> wow. Pitts just beat Tony Miller. The bracket is on my page. It's pictures of uh, the wall. Oh, Tony Miller. Yeah. That's Tony Miller and the little side right there. One of the top guys in Indiana. Yeah, it plays great. What was he, like 680, 670? Uh, right around there, 676, I think, 677. He's a 7, so he's got to be, 7's got to be under 675, right? I don't have that whole thing memorized, especially because it's like it's different than other rating systems. But I think it's six fifty to six seventy four is a seven. Hey, it's a little funky here because you can't make the seven. No, I don't know if you can. Yeah, gonna try to play safe here. 
he plays safe here. He's gonna. I think Jordan's a big favorite to jump to 15 ball. Wow. Oh, he didn't even make it. No, he doesn't need a jump in. Well, but he's still going to make it. And you got to come with a shot to get on the 14. He's probably going to hit this with a bunch of, bunch of right yeah, out of the pass. I mean, Try to the go 14 through. is very limited, actually, if you look at it. Yeah, it doesn't gonna, go inside. Uh, he's going to play this with a bunch of ride. Try to come one, two rails, three rails behind here. Back over. I'm going to say he's going to try to go four rails into it. If I had to guess. That's what he was trying. I don't know if he put that in a six ball in a good spot. I don't, I don't know if the six ball goes from there. Looks like he's got maybe half a pocket. Play the four and spin into him. That definitely helped. Yeah. Yeah, he dodged the bullet there after not getting that cue ball behind the two and leaving Jordan shot. Shot. Where at in uh, where at in Illinois is he from? He is from like not Joliet, but like like Peoria, not too far from there. No, more like Chicago. Peoria is like further away. Yeah. That really helps Martin out because obviously Jordan was supposed to win that game. Jordan's spotting him a game. So that makes him about dead even. I'll see what his Facebook says where he's from, but it's the metropolitan Chicago area. Chicago ain't too awful far from here, is it? Two hours, two and a half hours. It's more than that. Is it? Oh, it is. It is Joliet. Lives in Pingree Grove, Illinois, but he's from Joliet. Brian Gregg's been been uh, struggling to pronounce last names all day. <laughs> Who was it? Ryan something. I didn't hear him. Probably Macedonia. Yeah, Macedonia. It's kind of a strange break. Yep. And you absolutely have to play stripes, I think. I'll play the. I think you want to save the 11 and 15 for last, I would imagine. So you can roll up and shoot the 8 ball in the corner. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it. Uh, you about just have to play the 13 and try to come around and get on the 14 right now. Should work. 
Tell you what, though, it's easy to about have to play the 12 here, and it's easy to double up here because of the seven ball and have to shoot the nine fourteen. Something you don't want to do, but I imagine he's going to try to slide off the seven. Give a shot at the fourteen. See, now he's got to play the ten ball, which he didn't want to do. Well, I mean, I think he's got 10, 11, stop shot, 9 to the side. Yeah, but the 11, 15, that's the easiest way to get on the 8 ball because you just play the 15, roll up, and shoot. Play the 8, eight down ball. here, yeah. yeah. I'm still pretty precise. But yeah. you can you can get back on the 11, though. Well, maybe, maybe the 8 ball goes between the 1 and the 2. The way he's playing it tells me it goes between the one and the two. I've seen him look at it at the beginning. I mean, hell, this is difficult. It's, if it goes between the one and the two, it's pretty basic. Unless he's going to play the... Oh, he's going to go into it, where he's looking at it. You can play a stop shot on the 9 for the 14, come off the rail and back over for the 8-2. You can try to go right in between the 5 and the 3 and bump the 8 out. Should have a shot in the side. He hits it the way he wants. Slide off the 5, to loose to the side. What's that? No. No. No, this is BCA. That's Valley. Really? I just watched what he said before the tournament, huh? Not if we're playing BCA rules, no. Yeah, BCA rules, eight ball's never neutral. Rodney. That's a nice out. Is it three to one, Martin? Yeah, it was. Martin needs four and Jordan needs eight. It's four seven, actually. He's going to eight. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. Right. Ready to drop us, drop us four.
George got the stripes here at this place. Yeah. He just bumped the two to block the path of the eight accidentally. Looks like he can just draw back into it here. Let's take your medicine. Whatever you get, you get. I mean, for, for a minute, you could see that it went past the two, but he bumped the two, so now it definitely doesn't. I mean, I don't know about back cutting the eight, but nah, he's gonna kick there's it no sure. way to. Nah, he's gonna kick it. He's gonna go just to the left of the seven with a bunch of right. Try to kick it in. How did he get back to the table? Man, that's tough. Martin just missed the ball. He missed the ball. And by the time the ball even stopped rolling, he was jumped straight up out of his seat, ready to go. He didn't expect an open table. Tell you what, this ball looks like it might bank one rail in the corner. Be surprised. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah, it's so good to not scratch. And how do you not scratch? That's yeah. Yeah, hit it. Dead square with a bunch of right. Might not even go, but when he'd shoot it. He keeps looking at it. I mean, I don't care where you make this shot from. If you make this shot, it's nuts. Could be the momentum swing you need to. That's a four seven race left. It's the one railer. I think it definitely goes. Did it great? Half the cue ball straight. I thought I was gonna play uh Jeff, but he lost. Beckley lost. Did it good? Oh my goodness. What a shot. Nice try, buddy. <laughs> Who did he lose to? I don't care. I'm gonna try to look on a bracket. Rodney, did you win? Did he win? Oh, man. He might have. He acted like he was a little upset, but it looked like he shook his head yes, so I'm kind of torn between. Did he? You think so? I don't know. Hey. Yeah, Mike. That's the do not play. The, in, the guy right there around the corner. I can't see around the corner. I mean. No, I don't. His nose is sticking out. Uh, Jeff Beckley. He played Kevin Judy. Kevin Judy, that's right. Yeah, that's what I played. Hey. Like Would you rather play Kevin or Beckley? I mean, that's probably the right answer, but mentally for you, but play the table, man. Whoever they put in front of me, that's right? Brandon used to say, "Say, you know, 
Brandon. I so where are you playing? Yeah, Brandon. You said I'm playing Mr. Valley. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Valley. Wow, big advantage for Martin here. Supposed to be getting spotted again. So now it's a 7 3 race. 6 7 7 2 from here, George Bowes. But he can string a rack or two together here and get going. At this level, it's nothing to see somebody that plays this good, you know, breaking run four or five in a row. Well, hell, Mac, you played a guy that ran five, and he's a guy that nobody even knows who it is. That's absurd. How many viewers you got? Um, thirty plus YouTube. And he gets a second ball square. Eight in the side, so obviously he gets. Choice and most people. I mean, I've seen this before, even in Vegas for the world championships. Somebody said, Well, I made balls, but I'm going to re rack anyway. Then they break dry. Every time you do that, you break dry. Whoa. Very rarely do you see somebody give up control of the table, especially at this level. <laughs> I wonder if I wonder if Jose's played yet. Ten ball got really ugly there. So like George's only glimmer of hope is the ten ball. There you go. That solves that problem. That was smart. What a shot. That was it though. Fifteen doesn't go on the side here. If you don't, if you can't see the fourteen, you go out of trouble. <clears throat> Might be able to see the nine, I guess. Jack but then he's jacked three. up. Yeah, that was a great shot. He didn't get rewarded for it unless he could see the fourteen right time. Mm -hmm. I think he can, but well, if he doesn't, he's playing the nine ball. Yeah, it's not that good, man. You gotta hit this ball good too, though. Yeah, come out between the the fifteen and the six, but we hit the fourteen next. <laughs> Playing with him here. Good shot there. He's definitely good to go now. It looks so different on the screen. Like I thought the 10 ball, I thought the 4 ball had the 10 ball partially hooked. The way he just fired it in tells me he had the old puck. The further you are. Oh. Come on, get fucked. <clears throat> Lost. Sorry. It looks frozen to me. One hundred percent copper frozen. Oh. Yeah, it looks frozen to me. Oh, it was gone. Who was it? Was it? Was it? Uh, I fought back. We had it four packs. We fucking that ball was froze. Every other guy in the audience over there said, Oh, yeah, that's frozen. Come on with the uh -oh. Fucking tell me. Right? Yeah. That's surprising. Yeah. What was the dude's name that he played? Was he, did he, he play played Brent Charlotte? Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Come on, please. 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 Come on,
You've been selling some raffle tickets. Rodney just sent us. Speaking of which, guys, got a monster raffle going on here. We got two thousand dollar choice. Got lots to choose from. Make sure you get your raffle tickets. It's definitely filling up fast. Wow, the brakes have sucked up so well. He made call. He got back four weeks ago. He got back four weeks ago. He got back four weeks ago. So all you have is frosting. Jordan, plays good. Rodney did not win. Jordan's in a world of hurt with this spot. Now it's a two seven race. I've seen Martin play really, really good up to his speed and here it seems like he might even be playing above his speed, just a hair. Uh, good for him. I know he puts a lot of time in. He plays with a uh, Heritage Series L4 Jacoby. One of our nice production lines. Actually, of the L Series, I think that Q looks the best, period. Man, Jordan's got to run a seven after Martin breaks dry or something because this is six one. One more. They look short, but short, but just barely, just a little bit. Modified races. But actually, for an 8-7 race, this is not to take that long yet. But obviously, if it goes hill-hill, it's going to extend it. Hey, Jordan, it's not No. Run 7. That's what he needs to do. That's what I just said. That's what I just said. <laughs> I said he's going to break dry and then he's going to run so. What's up, my man, John Allen? The Stumble In crew? Oh, Ryan's a good dude, man. I've known Ryan since he was like a real skinny dude punching people. He's a professional, like, featherweight MMA fighter. Ryan the Hurricane Hogan's YouTube it. You've watched him fight. He's got fights up there. Martin to break. Is this going to be the dry break? Then he runs seven? Nope. Not a dry break. But I mean, I don't think he said anything about it. Earlier, 
Uh, I don't know about the six ball, but if the six balls. <laughs> he hasn't shot too much. He just hasn't shot. I mean, sometimes the score does not reflect how the player's performance is. Because if he's not shooting much, you don't have a chance to miss. Martin is playing great. That four ball is the only thing. That's really good on mind. Wow. What a shot. Right, well, you don't need to mind it now. That was fantastic. Good, yeah, Jordan. Your Fargo just went down 25 points. So, good for you. <laughs> That's a joke. Martin fans should be pretty happy about this performance. It's not over with yet, but I mean, it should be the way he's playing. He's not going to make a mistake. Just need a little angle here for the floor to come up to the eight on the other corner. Uh, it's kind of straight, but it looks like it's just a straight draw. So I'll draw it a side hole. Oh, I stunned it. He hasn't made many mistakes. I mean, he missed, he did miss a ball, and Jordan was popped up a real fast. Honestly, if I would have bet this match, I would have lost my tail. Because I would have bet on Jordan, even though it's a close game. Real nice shooting, Martin. Real nice shooting. 685 takes down the 732, something like that. It dominated the round. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, you guys, you guys bring it. That's, that's what we're going to do. Huh? Well, Because everybody knows that they miss, it's over. So they don't miss. I was playing really good against Ron for the same reason. <laughs> like, can't. I don't know if I'm gonna molest you. I'm gonna like molest Mike. <laughs> you don't. Would you want to? How'd you do? Uh, How'd you do? I haven't played yet. Oh. Oh, my. Where was my bike this morning? Huh. I did. I lost eight four. I was close. Yes, she was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take one. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's he did force follow, force follow breakout with the ball like hit. So it's back. And I'm like, what? Mike, do you know her? Yeah. 
<laughs> first, first time I've, I've had her. Amy Theriot. Theriot. Call, calls me. Amy Theriot. Theriot called me, and I went up, played with her at uh, Scott's Doubles up at um, Cincinnati. Uh, oh, at Michael's? Michael's. Oh, okay. And we played in that breast cancer awareness. Something. Oh, that's when I came back on her and beat her five and one or something. Yeah. yeah. And, and I was pissed. You know they didn't let us finish that tournament, right? Really? The storm came through. I would fought my way all the way back, and it gets to where it's me, Tracy Cantrell, and Dawn. And the power went out in the whole pool room. And I'm like, somewhere like two miles away, there's a pool table somewhere. Let's go finish the fucking the shit, you know? I it's, think it's better. Oh, it gets better because they were like, well, I was already sitting here waiting for you, so I should get second place money. That's what Tracy said to me. Oh, I was boy. like, I said, um, you have just as much. Like, we haven't even played yet. 64 towns. It's a thing. Me and Amy go all the way through. We're playing for the Kings team. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay. You don't care if... Uh, we just had the four fit. I got a second to fit. It's same with the day. And I was like. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's just like this. Yeah. Oh, like this. Yes. And it's thousands of dollars. Yeah. Like. And. We could have started, never even played. We 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 never we never lost. Mm. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You know, I love it. Hey Stace, so you gave for two seconds. <laughs> I love it, but wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's all just it's the it's kinda of bright. Oh, I said it's way out. Oh no, I do that night. That's what we cut. Are you Greg? That's Greg. Huh? What's your ready? What's your ready? Putting you on the stream. You're on the stream. Um, six. I wish a number. Okay, what's your number? Seven. What do you have to go to? Oh, seven. 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 Million eight, um, through seven, yeah. So a seven seven ring, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Bill, you called. But we had two sixes up here. Two seven is a race to six. Can I leave yes, my Can I leave my cues here for a second? You both, if you're both sevens, it's a dead race to six. Oh, I played off. I played off. Played off. Played off. Three games prior, and he came back to get his five. Wow. He got stick. The front. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. I'm ready to fucking go. Fucking Tony the Tiger. Man, I'm mad at her. Let's fucking awesome. Here, sit down. I was going to go get it. I was going to go get us. Tony's like, what the hell? You stole my check. <laughs> You're saving it. <laughs> yes, I was. That's your mama. I wish she knew me. As it is. But she's still sweet and fun. Cute as they are. Glad to see you back in action. <laughs> <laughs> well, when my whole life is I'll have the reason why. Now we will just have to moderate myself, though. Yes. <laughs> yes. And my mom, you know. But now I live down here too, about 10 minutes. From now. I was like, that is that the day when I met you. I watched it. I was like, oh, yes. 
You know, I said, hey, whenever there's a touch cup, I want to be black. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny though? I don't like stuff though. Because I, if I fuck up, then I get mad at myself and then I get up real fast. Like, can you fuck up? If I'm, if, if I'm not, if I'm gonna fuck up on my own. Yeah, nice dodge. I don't even play the special. I think we can play down that horn back and boil up here. I can do it because it's just a grind. Can't do it again. Four miles off the point, and then, then you got to get eight o'clock. You're playing eight ball for yeah. Hour, and the eight and if you're not doing the drugs, half the people are. You're fucked. <laughs> but it's <laughs> you got to you got to go along to get along. Yep. Yep. Uh, it turns out you're not supposed to do that when you're manic depressive. <laughs> You shiver instead of shot. Ten minutes in here. I was going to say, you're close. I, I thought you were close. I used to live in Fisher, which is like 45 minutes from here. Oh, wow. So when I did get a chance to go play with Star Half Trip, I'm pretty good. Oh, wow. Yeah, and there's no real close school. And the other one is Fisher. It was over by Airport Bank. Thanks. So I just didn't have access in here. I didn't have the support either, so it just didn't matter. So I just played when I played, and I was happy to be out when I was. That's why I didn't stop playing. Well, if you saw me there, I had a cue in my hand. I was at a table the entire fucking time. Probably didn't even sit to eat because I took like all drive like a like a. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay. What is table Yeah, I don't know. Like fast. Like fast as Yeah, hell. days of kind of yeah brother. <laughs> Something by yourself. Here? Yeah. Maybe. I live here. So it's not like that. Yeah, well, I'm by myself. Oh, I usually come. That's what I meant. I usually come by myself. Yeah, that's what I know it. <laughs> Since I'm trying to play. Try not to. Because I'll end up using oh. Floating around. <laughs> 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 I'm going to talk about seven hour drive. Something added. When I played with you last night, it was almost six hours. Oh, it's for me to drive up to five. Same like you, Brad. You end up getting up. I finally get back to the table. Mm -hmm. Great. 
Uh, that's bad. He didn't matter what he said. He could have moved out. Like, almost knocked us. Is it warmer outside? I feel like I've got time. Yeah, I just got back from the woods. Finally, pick up the gears and the from my Not even that, you know, I saw it. Then I teach you to Load is going to be a little blurry because it's going to be Freeze, freeze walk time. Freeze walk. Yep. I should go bring my son. Isn't he? Big table. Yeah, when I'm down. Wind drops on the It's a storm. The only reason I'm going to It's winter. Um, how do I move the score? Yeah. I was going to try to figure it out. One. Oh, you can? Good, I'm not cursing. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it was off. They're always off. So this is an even six, six race because they're both sevens. These are good races, although it's not race to your rank because it'd be like some of the eights and, you know, eight race to eight, race to nine. <laughs> Travis is sitting here. Tony Tucker sitting here next to me. So you can hear her talking in the background. She's like, that's okay. I haven't been cussing. She must have watched my broadcast before. So this gentleman beat Tony Miller. He's like a 650. I want to say. I want to say he's from. I think I got his name spelled wrong because I'm trying to find it. Yeah, he's from the Chicago area. One G, two T's. Yeah, he's playing Philly Billy. Apparently was from Philadelphia originally, but he's lived here for a while. I know him as being a pretty decent action player. Mark Boren. As a six plus one. Hello. <laughs> A six eighteen. With eight ten robustness, ran a five pack. I mean it's not like his ro robustness is low. He just played excellent pool, apparently. I didn't see it. Right, that cue ball rolled off a hair. What's he got here? Possibly the 12 off the 9 in the corner. There's not much else here. Yes. I mean, you can call the 12 9 if you really wanted to, but maybe you could back up the 12. 
nothing easy about any of these options at all. So I would think Billy Billy's getting to the table. I mean, it's pretty insane of a back cut. I think maybe reverse banking the 12 could be an option. It's probably better than opening the table wide open. Steal the pocket at least. He did block the left pocket from the one, but still wide open. Four on the side, I would think. As long as this three is not so much in the way. No, he just plays a layup to get behind these line of balls. He leaves a pretty reasonable jump shot. Yeah, probably going to jump this 12. The problem is, is controlling the cue ball. Foot and a half distance to get over the ball. Jump here? Yeah. Yeah. Are you coaching? Are you coaching? Yeah, I know. You should jump. Pretty sure. I don't see I don't see why you can't. Not a problem, Father. Look at this. Good hit. Neither one. He didn't need to jump. I mean, if he wanted to win, he probably could have jumped, but he leaves him in a one in the side. Exactly. Yeah, like six plus one. I, I didn't get one. Yeah. Why the fuck am I going to play that shot? Yeah. All these other motherfuckers. Fucking sales. Hey. You're off my thinking. I don't want to fucking hear your garbage mouth right now. I can't be fucking serious. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> I didn't say I don't want to hear your form. <laughs> garbage mouth right now. <laughs> I mean that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's probably just stalling. Maybe that's my goddamn problem. 645. It's like 1600 robust. No, it's just like a candy I don't like candy bars. I like salad. You can right? install it. Yeah. Yeah. Spell it. I don't know what you don't so know. The trick is to just partially spell it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. B R E T T. Space. C H A R. Oh, thank God. <laughs> get back out there. You said I want to play with you in Texas. Service record. I'll jump off the other week. Is it shut? No. It's on the wall. That's it. Yeah. 
This mic's not loud, but you can hear it crossing left and right. She said she's crossing left and right, right next to us. She was loud, too. I mean, I guess if I'm not doing it, somebody might be doing it. There's a horror. Oh. Rodney's like, what's this guy's Fargo I played? And I can't even find it. That's a trick, just so you know. If you don't know someone's exact spelling of their name, you just spell it, their first name, space, and then like two or three letters of their last name, and it'll find it. Or it'll find all the options that match it. You're going to be in trouble here, maybe. Uh, does the two go past the nine? Real close. Well, to me, it looks like it hits the titty. But you could play it deep, shallow, and then play it off the nine, possibly. That's the way you would make it. Good try. But it's kind of in no man's land there, but Philly Billy. Now with two balls blocking that hole. He's got two balls up in the corner. Obviously, he's got the 10. But the 11 is a problem, unless you get right behind it. Okay, this might not be a bad shot. Come off the nine and make the two. I put the nine in the hole. I mean, it leaves, it leaves the table available. Five ball is still funny, though. Unless he moves the 11. <laughs> His ankle's a little off on this one to follow it forward for the six. It's, I mean, he's still going to have a shot on him. It's going to be a cut, but he might want to get to the four here. Definitely got to the four. But if he doesn't have an angle to the left side, I don't think it's going to move the five much. Travis is still waiting to play. He had a buy. The first ever eight ball split bracket here at John Wayne's Pub and Eatery. I want to uh, thank Tim Flanor. I'm going to post his. link to Facebook in this chat room so you can like his page. He just started the page out. So I'd like to get some more followers over there, so please do that. He's in northern Indiana. Not always easy a shot. You're going to hit this real square with the bottom right, pull the angle, come back twice for the eight. Can't hit it much better than that. 
That's good, sir. He's got a bunch of videos. <clears throat> Tim does Timothy School of Billiards on his page that you can check out. I mean, I kind of tried to put them in this in this feed, but it's not working very good. Two to one, race to six. Okay, we're going to check the ride. I loaded the video on this page. <laughs> but I don't think I can get audio to come through for some reason. Did she know that? <laughs> but he, he just, this is interesting. I mean, he's incorporating... His background in hypnosis into his instruction. If you like, if you want to try that, and he's a certified billiards instructor and a certified hypnotist, so it'd be like count to twenty. You will never jump up on a shot again. I'm just speculating, but that could be very useful. Yeah. <laughs> Philly Billy's probably going to play the 13 to open the 10 4 9 up. Should be enough energy in here to create separation. Nice one. Although he does roll the 10 a little far. He saw problems, he caused problems. He's got the problem solver right here. The 11 went into the rail, went into the 6. Should even bump the, the, bump the 10 out. I don't know if I would have drew it, but it worked out fine. Definitely opened up the 10 more. It's got a long shot, though. Yeah. I would think you're playing the 15, but this shot, with this no angle, he's forced to come and play this. But he's manufacturing a better pattern for him, so. Right, he's got to draw and spin back out, leaving the firm for this 10 ball. Does he get it? I don't think he got there. I think he's just a hair short. I think he's a hair short. But you'll see if he just jumps right down into the shot. Or he may opt to jack up and spin it enough. We might be able to spin in this ball, which is what he has to do, because he didn't quite get there. Man, he overspun it. Quick exchange of innings. He's ready to go. Up two to one and a race to six, dead even. Both players are sevens. This is the upper bracket. It is a split bracket, so essentially there's two tournaments. The first and second player from each bracket will play each other in a final four bracket. <clears throat> Number one. 
First place from the high side, place first place from the low side. For the final chair, and the second place from the high side, second place from the low side, play each other. To see who plays the loser of the chair match when the brackets combine right at the end. And split brackets have been incredibly popular with nine ball, but nobody has ever done an eight ball split bracket. So pretty cool to see this come to fruition. It might not be perfectly executed what some people might think the way you would do it, but this is an experiment. And we had real good success with the six and under that was that blue tip that I was uh, I was out there. I heard Brian was doing this good event, and I was like, "Hey, Brian, you want some help?" Plus, John loved to compete and play eight ball, so. Anytime I can get John to play eight ball, he's happy. I like watching eight ball a little bit more than, than rotation anyway. So it all worked out. And then me and Brian reconnected. And we said, hey, let's do this tournament together. Three to one, and it's a winner breaks. Nice finish. This is John Wayne's Pub and Eatery, home of the Midwest Bar Table Classic, which I hope will return sometime sooner than later. For many, many years, it did all those events. You can see the posters in the back by the nine-footer, a monument to greatness of all the players that won the tournaments. Along with the Midwest Bar Table Classic, I also did the Midwest Nine Ball Tour event at Shooters in Olathe, Kansas for about equally amount the same years. Three times a year did that event. This event was twice a year. And that was always great for the subscribers of Billiard.TV, the website. And I'm happy to announce that we have locked in since COVID, the only tournament at Shooters in Olathe that they have decided to run again, the Taylor Anderson Memorial, 7,000 added, which is a one-pocket event consisting of 64 players, which is already full, and then an open nine-ball event, which is also probably 5,000, 4,500 something like that added um that is in june and i will be there doing the broadcast on two tables it will be a members only broadcast on believe.tv the website three one greg and uh the nine ball is wide open so if you want to come out and see what the historic Shooters Olathe is about. You can. I should find the flyer, actually, especially because I'm talking about it. But I'm just excited to be back there, man. I mean, there's so many great players that cut their teeth there. Alex Olinger won it like six times. Skylar Woodward has been there. He won it when he was a kid, essentially. 
And uh, from what I understand, he will be back competing in Olathe. I thought that tournament might not be big enough for him at this time in his career, being, you know, top five player in all the country in the United States. But he's going to come there and play one pocket and nine ball, which is great for the broadcast, great for the viewers, good for the tournament. I mean, I also know, you know, guys like, uh, I mean, Dave Matlock works in the pool room. So he'll be there. Rumor has a Danny Harriman will play from Missouri. I believe he's from Missouri. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's not obvious. They need help, but I didn't know. Okay. Yes. All right. So, yeah, let me find. Sorry about that. It's feedback. Let me find this file. Shooters all later. If you do ever find yourself there, make sure you look on the walls because there's like pictures and all the brackets from previous years. That place put on some monster tournaments like in the past 20 years. Well, yours are doing that. I probably would think years I would matter. Here it is. I've got the flyer ready. The nine ball is not limited. I mean, we've I've had over two hundred players at that event before. It's obviously a Saturday and Sunday event. But nine ball actually starts Friday night. But it always finishes up. Someday there's like 18 valleys. That's in the future in June. I don't know if I'll bring Mackie out there. I mean, if he wants to go, I'll bring him, but... Something like that, it probably makes sense to try to bring. It's on both. It's Billiard Net on YouTube. Billiard Net. Billiard Net. Yeah. TV Mike. TV Mike dot TV. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, unfortunately, Billiard not on you and uh, Facebook is not around anymore. It's just uh, suicidally depressing, but oh well. Yeah, get in here. Hold on a second. I don't want feedback to go crazy. You're back in. I'm back. What's All up, right. guys? Travis Gillespie. You're still waiting to play, right? Still waiting to play. Yeah, you probably won't wait too much longer. I drew a buy in the first round. That's a monster. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I won, but it was... <laughs> it was a tough match. It was a tough match. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got Greg and Philly Billy, they call him. He's more of an action player than a tournament player. I, I have already, they've already told me that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah, he's. Plays pretty good. Yeah. I think, you know, he's he's not really trying here on the stream. <laughs> I mean, that might be the case. I mean. <laughs> I think for more action. <laughs> the, we might we might have a hunter situation. 
At least I'm not betting on it. No, that's true. This this gentleman here is it? This is Greg. Pine. Yeah, he's yeah, from he's, the he's from around Chicago. Yeah, I think. he played he plays pretty good. He's played pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. I bull crap to him a little bit ago. Pretty nice guy. Wow. So his hands full with the open table though. If he doesn't make this ball. What a shot. Well, a nice hit. Look yeah, at this. Pretty good hit. Yeah, it was. Leaves the 10 in the side, the 14 in the corner. Goodness. The way Billy's playing. Oh. You know who uh, Strong Arm John is, I'm assuming? I do not. You don't? I do not. Sometimes they call him Big Arm John. You know who Jeanette Lee is? Yes. He used to stake Jeanette. Oh, no And he shit. also staked Billy before. Oh, wow. That's it. It wouldn't surprise me if, if John doesn't come around here if he ain't somewhere else. Wow. If he's still in the police. The guy looks about 50, and he's like 80 or 70-something. Yeah, wow. I mean, it's crazy. He's a great... He's, wow. His arms are huge. Holy crap. He used to gamble for big money at the Derby and arm wrestling. Wow. That's where he got his name from. Damn. He needs two more. Four to one. Strong arm John stakes skinny Billy. Skinny Billy. He, he's he's probably <laughs> lost a little bit of weight since I've seen him. Skinny Philly Billy. Maggie's mad or hell. I know. He come over to he me. almost ran over here with a bad knee, talking about the guy ran a five pack. Well, guess what? He was in front of me before he got to you, and I got it all. I said, "Oh my God!" He said, "I can't believe it. You want to walk over there? Didn't even get a shot." I won't. I won't, I don't believe that. That's crazy. He said he. Max, His Fargo is super legit too. Max said. What is six plus one? Max said that he got one shot. <laughs> Probably gonna see him towards the end then. I hope he I hope he ran all his racks out with Mac. <laughs> well I would play well yeah, we'll play him. Because he's in the low side, right? You could play him. Yeah. It's true. Greg needs two, Billy needs five. Correct. And break safe. Boom. That's brutal. Unless he can see the 11. I don't know if he can. You just don't understand how how awesome this is to actually get to play eight ball. <laughs> this is the first ever eight ball split bracket. Yeah, he, he didn't have to play safe. It was a break safe. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't got no choice. You don't. Turn. There ain't nothing out there. Where'd your uh? Where'd your? Thing I go? need it actually. Oh, oh, oh. I might have another one though. Okay. I tend to keep electronics close to me. <laughs> Sometimes there's a hot spot in this pocket. There, you even got a you even got a charger base. Oh shit! Hell, yeah. Got something back here to plug it in. Oh lord, look at this. <laughs> got it going on. Stop the cap? Huh? I'm not sure what the, the context is of that. You know where the sheep are? What do you need to know? 
Here. Yeah, I'll eat tomorrow, I guess. I don't know. Actually, they have good food here. Two sevens, race to six. Same thing they're doing here. Yeah. Six five. Which are still long races. Even though it's not race to your handicap, it's still like a real good race. If a nine plays a nine, it's still a good race to seven, dead even. Is that what it is? Yeah. So yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. God plays pretty good. It's pretty consistent. His ball making is pretty good, obviously. He gets a little bit out of line here and there. I don't know what he's going to do with he his He hasn't seven. made too many mistakes, though. Uh-uh. He sure hasn't. The score reflects it. I want to see. I want to see what he's going to do with his seven ball. <clears throat> I try to. He can't get that spin. He's he doesn't to have too much uh -uh. angle, really. Oh, he might be Lord. able to oh. figure it out. My he, God, he pulled it off. Yeah, but he's going to get back to the yeah, eight. But I don't know what he's going to do with this eight ball. I mean, he can make the seven in the corner and come back across, but I mean, he don't got anything. I mean, every hole. I mean, he's going to have to put so much inside on this to yeah, yeah. get to the line to, re to, to reposition the eight, I think. Correct. But. Yeah, that's brutal. How much can you put on it? Sure. I don't think that's too possible. Wow. All these balls is wide open for for uh, Ellie. So you would have no rip, just a meet. Well, Wow, I was surprised he got that far. Yeah, he did pretty good on it. You would have to go up to the front. Oh. What he what he want? I think he's trying to find a guy that he let borrow his cues. That ain't good. I mean, that would never happen. Buddy, he went, he left an hour ago. <laughs> I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> he's in trouble. I mean, he's playing like a carom or something. Yeah. He's definitely in trouble. Oh, there's no carom. No. How would you possibly get it to go over there? He's, well, I'll tell you what, he really. <laughs> that helps with the nine ball. You better there. believe it. Helps him defend his inning. Sure.
Shit on the bed. Ball and ham. Wait, did this Oh no boy. <clears throat> On hell. Yeah, yep. 5 1 race. Got a lot of work to do. Yeah, and there's not many balls to even do anything with. Did you get your tip yet? Uh, <laughs> you mean money? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude plays better than this. Yeah, I believe that. I, I trust me, I believe it. I just, I just don't know. Uh, it just doesn't look, look like that he's in the that he's in the game. He's probably trying to find the green room. Yeah, that's very true too. <laughs> I could get one of them shirts. Dude, that's been sitting in the van for months. I gave it to him, and he was acting Paul, asking Paul Moss for a hoodie. I was like, "Do I?" He's like, "I'm gonna, I'm, I'm getting this horse. I'm gonna buy him glasses. I'm gonna buy him a new hoodie. I'm taking him out of this Calcutta." <laughs> I was like, "I was like, I got a hoodie. Hold on, let me go get this." Oh, that's good stuff. That's good. I mean, I don't think he's getting out in this inning. No, this is tough. He's got a lot of work. Well, Billy's played in wheeling before over the years, probably. I don't I don't know him. I don't know Billy. I mean, I suppose you can make the six ball and do it in the middle of the table and shot cross back to seven in the corner. But your only options with seven. I'll tell you what I would do here. I'd play the one pocket shot. I would bank the six. Two rails back on the other side, bring the cue ball to the short rail. Just follow the cue ball forward with top left. That leaves the cue ball on the short rail. And I don't think he would have much of a shot. But That's absolutely perfect. He's trying to cross bank the oh, seven. Sure, that's what... It's the only way to get out. And I guess because he's so far ahead in the set, he's like, I'll just try it. Absolutely. Get it over with. Wow. Holy hell. Good Lord. 
That was a great shot. Slow mo too. Right. Slow roll that old girl. Right on over there to the front of the pocket. Don't well, waste much time. You don't got a shot. He's got the 15. Well, yeah, but that's tough. <laughs> He just, I don't know, he just he put the tip ball in front. But you can mass say that. Go right off the rail and make it. I wouldn't say that's that easy. But. I'm not sure in the hell looking at it. I mean, there. I, you know, I don't know. I'm wrong. It's I'm really, sure. it's. It's hard. It's deep, though. Yeah. You'd have to cut it so. Like, it's not, it's not hanging. It's hard to, to judge here by looking at the. Looking at the screen. <laughs> I mean, I would think, actually, the jump masse is easier. You jump not even over the ball, but you put left-hand spin on it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but I, I would I, I would masse off the rail. Just like that. Boom. That's why it's tough to make the shot. Yeah. Well, look at this. Tied these balls up. Huh? Yes, he did. Wow. That's a mess. Spin right into it here. That, that's a mess. Damn, he ain't getting no love. That's why I'm in the side, I guess. Don't have to like that angle at all. That's a good shot. Well, it looks like Philly Billy stays yep. in the set at stays least. The set. He's up, up, he's up too. Yeah, he's got two. And he's on the hill, five to two. Well, Ooh, he ain't gonna like that. That's gonna leave a mark. That's going to leave a bar. Good hit.
Doesn't do himself a huge favor than pushing a 12 on the rail, though. That's horrible. Sorry. It's all right. My hair took, gets in the way of these days. I took my eardrum out. <laughs> get get that damn mop cut. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to see how ridiculous I can look for as long as possible. <laughs> Some stand with the um, Squirter. five two. Greg's on the hill. Five two, Greg. Um, I'm gonna stay with uh, Paul and Tyler. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, you can stay with me. I got the only thing I got is space and an air mattress. Oh, well, that's cool too. But yeah, I don't care. I mean, them two. I don't know what they got. Well, they don't have nothing. Uh, they, uh, they haven't even got a hotel yet. Oh, okay. So I was just helping out. You know, I have a suite, but I mean, shit. The beds are covered and the couch is covered, but I have my air mattress, so I don't know what. Shit, I don't. I don't care. It ain't like we're going to be there for seven or eight hours. No. <laughs> we're sleeping. Exactly. That's a good oh, shot. Billy. Oh, Billy's coming back. That was a good shot. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't really have much room to manipulate uh, this ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, he went for it, though. Oh. Holy hell. <clears throat> you don't see that English very often. No. Good hit. Yes, sir. It'd be sweet if it touched right under the eight. Oh, man, that would. So, bro. Did you play? I guess you called it. <laughs> I can't believe the cops haven't been here. <laughs> Arresting me for 17 fucking times in three weeks for a person. I'm all right with the mic. Was that? It's still going. It's not open yet. Did John do it all right? No. He got, he got one he, shot. He was up three to one, and then the guy ran a five-pack, apparently, which is very rare for a six plus one regardless. That's how he lost. Never got back to the table. No, you're I'm talking about John. I mean, this isn't over back, with yet. Yeah, he, the same way. Or is it over? No, he, he lost. The guy ran this five is not pack. over. But what about Tyler? Where's his match? Is, good... is this over? Didn't he get a good hit? No, it's not over. Yeah, it's I not mean, over. He we're... did get a good hit. Yeah, I thought that, so. That, they might have went to the bathroom. Okay. But yeah, I'm like, because Tyler... Brian, because Brian was like, "Is this done?" The guy just played. I don't two. think so. The guy played unbelievable, but Tyler was spotting him. Yeah, he had a gimmick. Yeah, he had a gimmick well, game. Couldn't, couldn't beat him out with. That's brutal. Brutal. Baseball couldn't guy. get oh, you're yeah, next. couldn't get ahead. <laughs> I gotta go look at it. See how the hell she can do it. Fuck it, you know. Hell yes. You can fucking take you can borrow my fucking horses. You know, you want to 
Listen, you wanted him so bad, listen, and then you got you, you know, guys. His, his, listen, his horse. horse has been out to the pasture. Because that's my business deal with him. You know? I mean, you I didn't even. Get a half 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 you know, Mike. After I take his missus house. I have one. One. I have a 30-inch radio. Radio? Yeah. What size of that? Or I'm a dealer, but I don't stock for the shafts. Yeah. Um, I think it's 370. I'll grab it if you want. I'll just keep it in mind. Oh, good. Thank you, though. It's in the van. You catch them at the right moment, which as of late, it's been, you could probably get a good deal. I mean, his, his horse. <laughs> Hell, he's got a guide up to the finish line. He can't find it. <laughs> yeah. Be hauling all those sticks, huh? <laughs> I mean, that's all the chat's been like for a month. Is Mike can't book a winner. You know? That big beat. Yeah. That beat up him. It's beat him. I don't think I need to hear this in like three states away from my home. I don't need to hear this in Indiana. I've heard enough in West Virginia, in Ohio. He's like, man, he can't book a winner. Nobody needs to know that here. Well, this is a win for Mr. Pitts. 6-2. Earlier before the tournament. I think we're going to have Ryan okay, Hogan's. Wait, wait. Might not be. It's true. He threw it out. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. I'll like, yeah, I'll somebody, somebody Ryan is a super strong out. six. I could see him doing some damage in this tournament, actually. I'm straight up. Hell, I don't even know anybody right. really here. There was, you know, totally. the Martys and the Shanes and the and people with Magnolia, somebody you wanted to just set, yeah. root them on. There ain't nobody here. Oh, nobody I know. I mean, this is how much of a friend this guy is. I'm sitting in icebreakers the other night. He's like, man, I really got a game. I got a game for you. Marty's going to play Mackey a race to 11 dead even. No, that wasn't it. I'm like, I don't think so. Race to 25, Marty gives him five games on the wire. Well, that's something maybe okay, that, well, Mike, you know. That's too long. Or, or he's like, Mackey can play Tyler dead even. So like, so I'm like, he can if I got twenty thousand dollars saved up, maybe. Marty's, you know, did three games going to thirteen, and he didn't want that. He wants well, to lock. I mean, so I said, well, no, the, I don't want a lock. I want money. You know, let him let him tangle it up or whatever. You know, it don't have to be mad money. No, you know, no, no. But if I have twenty thousand, I'll blow a thousand just to watch those guys play. But I got no money now to do it, so you got to wait a while. Those are going to stake both guys. You could stake both players and put up a hundred dollars in the middle. Let them fight for it. Race to seven. Say, hey, whoever gets this, you get my hundred. You know, his last. This is sad, but this last winner was Jason Christopher Hunt. That's a lot. Oh, please, you know, that's just that's horrible. You can't say that out loud, man. You can't say that. He's just trying to get it hey, on my skin. Discredit, Mike, but you handpicked these guys, you know? <laughs> no. Tell them that table 15, you need a. You need a he's playing. Ryan's playing somebody. No, he's going to play here. That's why he's here. It's not because of my good looks. You think he's over here because of my good looks? Shit. Kevin Judy, that's who he's playing. But I don't know what his skill level is. But he beat Beckley. Guys, I got have a two thousand dollar choice raffle that has started. There's a lot of people here. Once Rodney decides to walk around again. We'll get some get some more soul. I've got some monster cues. 
Uh, you can get three spots for $55. Or I'll let you get six spots for $100 even. I normally don't do that, but somebody asked me earlier, and I was like, yeah, I'll do it. So if I'm going to do it for them, I can do it for you. And obviously you've seen the cues. $2,000 choice is really strong. PayPal, Cash App, Facebook payments to Mike Pool. My Cash App is Billiard Net, dollar sign Billiard Net. That's easy to remember. We'll figure out who. Well, I think these guys are up, but it's not been confirmed yet. I think I'm going to try for Rob and Tyson. I'll give you six. Six, six spots. That is Rob. Uh, no. Six spots for all. And it is three spots. That's what tells us. Uh, what, what is it? Eight hundred twenty-five. That don't even make two sense. Times. Two times eight is sixteen, so that's like forty dollars. That's two free spots. No. No. Why did you play the I mean, you're in the bracket. Yeah, I'll give you shit. I'll play that. Okay, Ryan, what is Kevin's rating? So it's dead even. Race to five, I think. Oh no, six six is race to seven. Yeah. Seven seven is race to six. That's crazy, right? Hell. That's wild. Yep. Wow. Pass backwards. That's what it said. <laughs> <laughs> hey Greg, did you tell him? Did you tell him that you're off? Oh, oh I thought I'll think I'll think that you might have control of that too. Oh, like, oh you don't okay, I never get a card. No, I'm just like a video guy. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta tell him. But he said and that's why he's not why he don't know. That's a nice stick here. That's, nice That's from last year, 2014. Huh. Nice stick. I like that color. Cues went up from last year to this year, like 15%. Oh, wow. And making awesome materials when we look. Yeah. So all the retail went up. I see. Yeah. I see. Well, I can't just see. It would be a winner. He posted a couple days ago that he won another award. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you see the cues? It's badass. With the snake and the slip signal. There you go. 
You know the gun? This door ain't even open. Sure. It, it's oh. Oh, he's an eight. Hold oh, on. Eight. Wait, wait. Seven five race. Oh, yeah, that's right. Absolutely right. It'd be a seven five race. Yeah. Man. Wow. Cool. John Balderson, table five. John Balderson, table five.
<laughs> I still get paired. Turn my phone working. You have to tell me the slowest song to do. Can I? Can I commentate for you? Yeah. All right, so we just updated the score. Ryan Hodgins at two, Kevin Judy at eight. I don't know what the score was, but Kevin Judy beat.
beat Jeff Beckley in the first round. I'm so sorry I didn't introduce myself. My name is June with Chosen Pocket Billiards on Facebook. Looks like he is a little tight on his cutting edge. Yeah, looks like he's going to pop Massé just a hair. Might be able to play it off the nine. I'd probably try to play it off the nine, get the three freed up. He doesn't like it, that's for sure. Oh, he's jumping into it. I don't know. Interesting. Great jump shot. Perfect execution. Solid looks pretty good now. Definitely play from the four to the three, then make a choice on the five or the two. Yeah, didn't roll well, didn't roll well ahead enough. Do you want this one back? No. This is your normal one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. I hear you. All right, you're supposed to answer. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got chosen billiards in the house. Check it out on uh, Facebook and TikTok. And he's jumping so good. I mean, he's got he loves this jump cue. I wonder is is it a Jacoby Black? Jump break? I'd like to say yes, it is, but it's not. <laughs> Hold on, what kind of jump break it is? Oh, you do jump break? It's a predator air. Yeah. Is it? Okay. He jumped two balls in this round. I mean, Ryan's a really strong six. He just went past the, the Fargo cutoff for seven, but he signed up when he was a six at State a couple weeks ago. So he was allowed to play as a six, and that was the rules. And obviously, really strong six. Was it three pack? Yep. Three pack. Thank God I didn't put Mackie on him. Wow. <clears throat> I put Rodney on him, but still didn't get there. So it's a 7 2 race now. Yeah. 
I've known Ryan for like over 10 years before he could not barely play this speed at all. I mean, it's not even close. He's gotten so much better over the years playing with all the guys in Fort Wayne. Yeah. Now he's on the Steamrollers team, which is Max Krause. So he's playing with really strong players for many, many years. He's run around with, like, Billy Pinion. <clears throat> did you play yet? Uh, yes, I did. I ended up winning my first one, uh, five to two. So I'm waiting on my next one. Ryan used to be a professional MMA fighter. No oh, shit. Yes. Wow. I had no idea. In like a featherweight division, but <laughs> you Google his name on YouTube, you'll see him. Really? Yeah. Oh, Ryan so Hurricane cool. Hogan's. Oh, that's pretty cool. He had a lot of sponsors and everything. It's his first mistake, and he didn't even get punished for it. <laughs> right. Didn't get punished. No. Who knows? The wind blows. Who knows? I mean, there's no <laughs> no reason for it. I don't know why it would cut out. It happens here and there. Do you sell your cues online as well? Yep. Okay. I was going to say, I mean, you got some really, really nice Jacoby blacks, so, or Jacoby cues. If anybody's interested, I'd definitely hit them up. You got some I mean, I advertise that this was a Jacoby Q show, really, because you're not going to see this kind of inventory. Okay. Yeah, man, I, I haven't seen this kind of cues in forever. I remember you showed me some pictures last time. And then uh, most of these are new since okay. I've seen you. Oh wow! <clears throat> yeah, they're beautiful. He's in that cue ball, good man. I gotta find a player to play Ryan. My God. Jumping top. Draw back at 250. Dang. A little farther than they want it, but the way he's queuing, no problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's playing an eight. It's a four pack. It don't matter who we play at this point. Right, yeah, that's true. Oh. Yeah, it's just queuing so good. Yeah. Yeah. Get a four pack to get on the hill. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you gotta give me a quarter. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'll just tip you out at the end, maybe. <laughs> I mean, he didn't go cheap. He went for like four fifty. Yeah. Just 
We're gonna get like Anna Wolford on him or something. Gosh, there it is, gentlemen. I do these rakes are just wide Absolutely open. Fucking wide open. <laughs> yeah, that's great. He's looking at a five pack. Yeah, finish the whole set. I'll give you a free raffle if you run the whole set out. I don't think Kevin has moved a single twitch. He looks quite comfortable. But see, that's a problem too. Like he looks say. bored. Actually, he's got his hand on his his shoulder. He's just like, "What is going on right now?" <laughs> right. And that's also the hard part, man. If for some reason Ryan misses and doesn't run this out, he's been sitting so long. You know, just it might get to him. Eight balls, hot cook. Yeah, he just moved it to a bad spot. There's yeah. no breakout ball for it. Nope. Yeah, the 10 ball, if it was a little bit more centered to the pocket, it'd be easier to break out that eight. That's not just the right He's got to get an angle on that so he can run the cue ball forward to possibly bump the 8 0. But... He's going to do that after the 11 for sure. Yeah, because I'm getting to that one. Cool. Yeah, that's what I'm It's like if he draws it straight back, he might clip the four. He's trying to come up in the window. As long as he can see the 10 with an angle. I'm further. That's too far, I think. Yeah, it's too far. Just bank the eight. That's that's all you can do. That's all you can do. Boy, he's gonna cut. He's coming in the corner. Yeah. Well, it's doable. If he wins a set out like this, I'll be freaking brutal. I'll protect something. It'll get. It'll be nasty. Get the hell out of it. Yeah. I mean, he's just so comfortable. He's in a good spot right now. He's yeah, like, he's man, whatever. Alex, man, he's been chilling. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. He made it. He made it in the scratch. Wow. I mean, if Kevin comes up and his brakes are working and plays smart with some safeties and stuff like that, don't ever give him a chance to control the table. He might. That's brutal. I mean, that's a brutal race. 6 1 race, Chet. 6 1 wins. Jesus. <laughs> Imagine this little, this guy right here, come back and run a six pack. Oh, my. Lead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that break is brutal. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I want to look at something. I want to. Here you go. All right, look good. Pressure's on, Mr. Kevin. Pressure is on. Yeah, that was five. That would have been five. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We run the whole set out. He's six now, six. Six now. Oh, is it five two now? <laughs> Ryan, is it five two? No. It's five two? What's five, the score? Five four one. Well, he didn't mess with the beads or nothing yet. I mean, I got the score right on the screen, but the beads aren't right. Damn, dude. 
so bad just to break your memo, so. Yep. I was kind of surprised you didn't play for the bank. I would have a bank yeah. cross side. Yeah. I like to come. It's coming this way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah true. Switch hitter. Did you switch those left hand there? Yeah, he did. Gangster. I wish I could do that, man. I, I need to practice lefty. It's tough. It is. I feel like I don't even know how to stand. That's so why we don't <laughs> like my jump, right? <laughs> what jump cue do you use? Air Rush. Air Rush, okay. See, that's what I'm talking about. You just sit in your chair for so long. Actually, he didn't really sit in that chair that long. He just watched him run out. Yeah, that's true. Because this is not taking that long at all. Yeah, that's true. That's a monster cut. <laughs> yeah, just dead stroke. He's in dead stroke. So I'd probably try to take the three ball right here and just pop the two and not six. Or, yeah, the six goes. <laughs> Drop back to the hair. Yeah. Water strip. Scratch it. It's crazy. Any of those like reverse cuts from that short rail almost always guides to the side consistently. I mean, okay, you're making everything. Why not just play a 98 degree cut? 89 degree. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's the first time Kevin's got two chances at the table. Yeah, but I don't think Ryan should cry about it too long. No. Do you know Kevin? I don't. No? When I heard he beat Jeff Beckley, though, now I know Yeah, him. that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty strong. That's real good. It's the second highest rated player in the row. Yep. I don't know why I took the 14 first. I wonder what his plan is down there by his cluster. I mean, I don't see if those balls are really laying as bad as they look. Yeah. 15, I think, goes. I'll try to make it. Oh, that's bad. Now he's probably got to play an 11 9 combo. I don't know if we can see the 12, can he? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't think we can see the 11 9 combo either. Unless it was off the rip. I mean, even still. Yeah, but I like it. You gotta get that ball. You can't see the 11 9, I don't think. No. 
No, he's in trouble. Yeah. Got a mess, eh? Hey? Did they call the mine? Mm, that's wow. not bad. Oh, that looks a lot easier than I thought that would be. Oh, way back here. Shot. Low angle. Now, what to do with that eight ball? Rodney. Yeah. So the other two to be able to play with He's a little flat on his ball, so it's gonna be like a go shot. Yeah. I mean so it's a cross eye. You make it you win, you miss it, you lose, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Looks like he's probably going to try to get a couple more angles. Besides, he's trying to hit it. About that straight snap angle. Yeah. 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 Who's your player? Hey, who's Rodney playing? He's he's Brad playing. Oh, six six. Yeah. I'm gonna go up there. So, thank you. I'll hop, hop up on the stream. I will. Sure. I love it. Of course. All right. Thanks to uh, Cho for visiting for a short amount of time. That would have been pretty cool for Ryan Hogan's to run a whole set out on the stream. So it's a 5 1 race now. Jeff Beckley was the first open bid. <laughs> Let's 
And actually, this guy right here playing right now, Kevin Jewey, is the one that beat him. I did not see it. First round matching. But he's gonna have some skill. Man, this thing is I need I need new wires and everything. He's got some work here. Check us out on YouTube on the Billiard Night channel in Blazing 2160p Max 4K. True 4K. Not, is he hoping to fall in the combo? I mean, that's all he can do. Need another sheet. Oh, that's your that's your notebook paper. Just flip it over. This is yeah. Just flip it over. I stole, yeah, I took that out of your notebook. I took that out of your notebook. Oh, thanks. Did you sell six bucks for a hundred? I mean, there's some sick cues in there, man. Yeah, it ain't like no, I mean, those are all one of ones. One of one raffles. Totally unique cues. Not even duplicatable. It's a heck of a try. Probably not going to get this one, though. Ryan did what make one mistake. Two mistakes, actually. One, he got punished for, obviously, making the eight and scratching. Otherwise, he would have ran the whole set. Okay. I mean, I've seen him go from like an APA five speed player to where he's at. As a matter of fact, when he was just starting out, <clears throat> we did a cross sponsorship because he was doing some fights. And he promoted me, and I promoted him, and I gave him a Jacoby at a good price. I mean, that's a long time ago. Probably eight, nine years. More than that. Ten, maybe? Like I said, Google his name. you see him fighting on YouTube. Ryan Hurricane Hogan. <clears throat> when he was a, when he was younger, obviously he's pretty young still. But Teresa, I mean, he's got nothing here, really. All right, you might have baked a three through the window. 
unless you're playing the old follow the ball in trick, but at this angle, it's super difficult to do. There's people that are next to him, which is kind of bothering his focus. I mean, they're not doing anything wrong. They're just sitting at the table eating, but they're slightly next to his backhand swing. Steal a pocket. You know what? That's a good shot. Pretty good shot. But this may slip right behind the five or he can get it to go. It's close, but the way he's been shooting, if he hits it really close, it's going to go off the five anyway. Probably play the 14. Look at that, the combo. It is pretty straight in. Get set out of the way. I need a player like Dylan Stuck to, to gamble with Ryan Hogan's speed right now. He's playing great. He's like, don't call me out. And that's a wrap. I don't think he can miss this ball if he closed his eyes and turned his head. Because he's just in great stroke. Good shooting. Five to two. As a score, this is a upper side, high side match. We'll have another one in a minute. Let's run this raffle promotion and the stream promotion, and we'll get back with more action here at John Wayne's in Indianapolis, Indiana. We'll tell you why we'll pick out the next game. Yeah, I mean, there's a video of it, sure. You can send me cash, but you can go on free. I don't know that. Mike, think of me six years ago, man. Well, it was, dude, I've known you like 10 years. When you were like a APA five. What's that? Yeah, remember, pick the next game. I do the math, Mike. Thank <laughs> you.
Yes, sir. Are you playing? No. Oh, okay. Still going? Still going? Did you play on the B side? Yeah. I mean, did you play yet on the B side? Oh, you haven't? Well, Mackie got fucking, he was up 3 1 on a guy, and a guy ran a five pack on him. Back. 
Do you not dream of rain? What's this going on? As long as you win, you're tipping. You didn't shoot much. I think I didn't shoot much at all. That break through is good. Of course, my partner was great. I mean, it splits the ball up on real quick. Two or three people coming up when they get done eating. Oh, they're coming up here. Yeah, they're looking for selection. Oh, okay. Plus, they're eating right now. Yeah. And uh, you can give these away too. Talking about it. I can talk to them about it. Yeah, dude, I gave you a shit ton of them. That's everybody in this car. You remember how big that stack was? Actually, it was. It was like good play. Yeah, I think everybody here has. I just asked everybody again. Everybody's already got one. <laughs> but uh, start with all right, standing away from the table. Yeah, I'm not getting near him. He's sorry, but I've been going around the bar. <laughs> well, we got plenty of time to do it. No, it's just cold over. Are you hungry? Just open the door or more. <laughs> Oh, 
you know the guy? Do you know Jamie? No. No, I don't. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's because the doors. Yes. Oh. Hey, Mark, is there a cash option? I mean, not really. No, because people people love it. Like, the goal is to sell people. Right. I got so much money in the air. I'm talking about ass. Yeah. I mean, if there would be, there could be, but it ain't going to be what people want. Is that? I mean, I could make one, but it's not going to be what people want. Because they want, like, $1,000. Uh, it's because the door is set. What? It's because the door is set. What? That's, that's why it's cold. How much is it? Pizza. 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 But I mean, he was just here. Hey. Yeah, he pulled jam on. Dude, she ran, he ran the set and scratched on the eight. Huh. I mean, he was here. <laughs> Same with you on, Ryan. Ryan, thank you for playing it doesn't matter what table he plays on or who he's playing. I know it Apparently. Don't make Yeah, he pulled the range. If it weren't for the fact that he scratched on the eight, he would have ran the whole set. Broke and ran five. Right. And that is gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, skinny. Look how skinny the players were on. Is it?
One of those games. Yes. 
All right, what's up, kids? I got a $20 side on this with Ryan Hogan's Mr. Run the Set 6. He would have ran a six. He would have ran a set if he didn't scratch on the eight. I mean, that's as close as you can get. He said that's the best he's ever played. It would have been awesome to have that full complete. He likes Jamie on this. I said, all right, 20 bucks, but you're going to tip me a couple hundred if you win, LOL. <clears throat> this is the first ever eight ball split bracket. What is up with this cord? Hold on one second. Here at John Wayne's Pub and Eatery in Indianapolis, Indiana, it's southeast Indianapolis. It's pretty much considered Greenwood. 128 players, full bracket, $1,280 added to the tournament. Pretty damn good players auction on both sides, although we do not have total yet. Huge thanks to the pool room. Daughter's name is Chuck. You may see a lot of foot traffic in here. It's because the way the room this is laid out, you can't help but run into traffic you just can't but there's 24 diamond bar tables in here and two nine footers i mean he's he was on the stream a minute ago before ryan <clears throat> so at least i know what i'm getting into He's a pretty consistent player. He beat up on Philly Billy pretty good.
Ooh. Did the wheelchair shark? I don't know. Up front. Yep. <laughs> Ouch. Speech plan here. These two guys. Which one is this guy? It has winter breaks and PCA rules. Yeah, I, never, I haven't seen him play really. I haven't seen him play. Oh, we missed that one bad. But I don't think it's going to hurt him too bad. Maybe if you can see the two to get some starting here. Rodney Wolf, Jackson Cook. One of my horses, both the horses lost their first match. Oh, the table must be opened. Rodney is is selling a raffle in the room. He's done pretty good so far in between playing. I mean, we got it. Thirty five spots sold. Two thousand dollar choice out of the monster inventory, and it's uh, one for twenty, three for fifty five, or like you get six for a hundred. You could also trade up if you like any other queue that may be over two thousand. Or pay the difference, basically. <clears throat> Tyler Chess. 
lost in the first match on the stream. It was strong. Troy Jones. Make sure to find us on YouTube under Billiard Net in 4K. Make sure to check out Timothy's School of Billiards. At least give him a like and a follow on his Facebook page. I just started out. Billiards Instruction, serving Central Indiana for the most part. I mean, he said he'll go to Ohio where he does Zoom calls, film your fundamentals, and he'll work on your fundamentals with you. Certified instructor. All right, looks like Jamie is catching his gear and getting the first game here. Is that no, it's not. Well, I mean, I think it is, yeah, but I mean, it's not wide open. <laughs> One one, however, Jamie gets a game. It's a six five race. Well, he's queuing on his ball. Looks like he's going straight through the bottom of the slate. Wow. What a wild, unbridled break. Part of the break is a balance between power, technique, and controlling the cue ball. The ball goes flying off the table. Scratch. Ball in hand anywhere. <laughs> so, if you're interested in playing in this tournament, I'm going to tell you that we are probably going to do another one, and it's probably going to be planned pretty soon with the success of this one thus far 128 players full field very successful event hey i need to mention your cue right you're right on one yeah it's two thousand dollar choice 
Okay, how many dollars a spot? Three for fifty-five or six for a hundred? One for twenty-five. One for twenty. Twenty. One for twenty. Three for fifty-five. Six for a hundred. Two thousand dollar choice. Okay, guys, we can mind that in the raffle. It's a good vote for for 20. Next choice, seven, two packs. Get the active choice. Get back there and get to the spot. I mean, he doesn't really make that many errors. He did miss a ball. I mean, I think he's only like a 650, but I think he plays pretty damn good. Six fifty two with nine thousand eight hundred and forty five robustness. Nobody's ever going to question his Fargo establishment, that's for sure. So, with that many plays, I mean, that's what a six fifty two plays like right there. There's no way could you say no. You're not going to hide with 9,000 robustness. You're not going to be underrated. You're not going to be overrated. You must be heavily involved in BCA Pool League as well as probably as, as many BCA and CSI rated Fargo events you can find. That's a lot of robustness. Putting in a solid performance here. And then he scratches on a break. Sir, 
Antonio Christopher Simco. And we'll see. I might I might beat your uh, horse in this match, Ryan. <laughs> Thanks, brother. We'll see here. I mean, Greg's been pretty solid, but he's just on a break here. Uh, he's in a bad spot here, actually. He's got to go up table. Now, I wanted to play the two ball, I'm thinking, to get to the one. I mean, that's damn. Headphone jack. No, oh, man, I got the long side balls. I'm too worried about all my other stuff. Ugh. Let's see. When you can only watch every other shot because your wires are all shorting out, that's what you get. There we go. That's more balls than I've made in the past two years. Huh. I think you've probably made a lot of balls. That's how you play so, so good. Well, he can see the five ball, but the seven's still bad. Everything else is okay, but how are you going to draw back for the seven when you're on the rail? Yeah. Kind of can, but. Mm. Well, for all intents and purposes, he should be out here. Jesse Mishler, that guy plays pretty good. He beat Mackey uh, on the A side in the six and under that we were at a couple months ago at Blue Tip Billiards, Wilmington, Indiana, south southwest of here. So he's choosing the back cut to fifteen. Some people play the 14, some people play the 9. A little center ball hit, and the cue ball comes over to play the 8 and the side pretty naturally.
Uh, I was walking through. When he's down on the eights, oh Lord. Like I said, you can't avoid traffic in here just because of the way the tables are set up. Are you winning? So far. Yeah. I don't know how I escaped it, but I was on title one. Oh, yeah? Molly on the chat. She said she's gonna be watching. I don't know if she's have been. Uh, I don't see her in there. <laughs> isn't she? Isn't she doing a tournament or? No, she did it yesterday. Oh, okay. They had a four and under over in that area today. So. Watch this cue ball. <laughs> well, he took a little bit off at this time, but he he let it really. He busted the balls off the table. Previous break. I think it's about dinner time here. I see the waitress girl come around again. Unless you want to give me a bunch of burritos, Ryan Hogan's. If you're at the Mexican restaurant. Two, two. But it's not an even race. At six five, Greg's a seven. Jamie's rated a six here. So it's a six five race. Modified races, but it's not modified too much. I mean, there's still long races. Hoping not to hit the four like that, but you know what? He he's gonna he's gonna feather this ball, I would think. Try to go on top of the four, or I mean, what else are you gonna do? Three doesn't go. Three doesn't even bank. Well, maybe it does. That's what he's looking at. Yeah. 
You didn't want to do the to the Tony show hands show. One pocket show. You just slightly bumped the cue to get the full on you right there, but that's pretty good. Similar. Not getting no nothing. But don't look at me like cross eyed, that's it. No, I mean I was I was happy to see you play well. No, did you put in? No, I didn't put him in there. He's a friend of mine, but no. You did? You're still on the A side then? Huh? You're still on the A side? Yeah. Yeah, both my horses are on the B side. Hmm? Both my horses are on the B side. <laughs> Hoping to get something to happen with that shot, but the only thing that happened is he's going to have to bank the seven or cut it jacked up. I don't see any other options. Back cut the six in the side. Maybe play it on. I mean, that's I don't. Even, I don't think he can see the full ball of a five to bank it. Six off the two. I mean, banking the seven is what? I think you have to shoot. But still, you got to jack up on that one. Shot clock, anyone? I'm just waiting for somebody to say it. To me, I don't think you can see enough of this ball, but I'll make it straight in. Nope. All right, Greg will come back to the table, and everything is good except for the 10 ball. And there's not much of a break out there. What's up, Travis? Did you win? Hill, hill. Who did you play? Oh, fuck Brian, buddy. I'll fuck three. Oh, fuck Brian. What's his name? Fuck the kids. He's only been playing 14 months. He That's pretty good. He's gonna be super. What so it was a what was it like a five? What was a race? Five three. Okay, five, okay, five and, three. And listen, I fucking run the rack, first rack. So I play a bend. Well, I spread the corner. So I put it back up. He's like, Trav, really think that's a loss. And I said, No, no. When you play BCA rules. I looked over and he said, I think it. So I asked the owner, the guy running it, and he said, Oh, that is a loss. And I said, How the fuck? You're not, that's not a loss. What he was said, it? I scratched on the eight ball, but I didn't make the eight ball. He said it was a loss. And I said, No, uh, no. If you're playing for CA rules, they, cha loss. they changed that to modify that. He said it was on the flyer, so I said, That's my bad. I didn't look at the flyer. Yeah, it is on the flyer. I did that. <laughs> But anyways, that cost me a game. Now, he's only needed two. So he got out on me in the second game. He had me two fucking nothing, and I won five in a fucking row. Oh, well. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, this is, 
fucked off. Yeah, it is. So uh, if you scratch while shooting the eight, they call it a loss. Very, very tough. Well, that ball's going nowhere. <laughs> Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Yes. If you go track this lady up. Oh, let's go. Good. Tell me who. I don't want to get up. No, tell me who. I mean, I don't know. The waitress. Oh, you thought I'm here? Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'll go away. I need a. I am shit. What do you call it? A giant chef salad. Okay. Blue cheese, no crew Okay. They have burgers on it. You won. The hell cut salad was the same one without the, uh, a chef salad without no fruit on it. No fruit on it. Gotcha. This is making you out. And what was fun? Sorry. Uh, but this is not Like that. <laughs> 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 
Oh, ten minutes. Oh, okay. tw twenty eight thirty two. Oh, you're fucking amazed. You're out. I don't know. Thirteen. Oh, yeah. Fuck hell. Yeah. 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 So I just said, she said, can you fuck back up for 10 minutes? I said, her. Oh, I'm going to go back and get it. I'm going to go get it. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. She was all the wish. Yep. Yeah, um, sure did. She, she brought the kind of challenge. Yeah, when I, when I get back up, I'll pass her and give me another. And I told her no coupons. Yeah. I got you. Would you? Huh? Burger? I got a burger and fries. Yes. Yep. That's all I got. I didn't even get a drink. I didn't get a drink. I got the Swiss burger. Whole block. Swiss burger. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's got a cheap part for $20. Yeah, what was your close? And on top. Oh, yeah, tax. Take box of pieces. I'll figure out about back. I'll go up in there. He's such a good kid. Yeah, I did. And, and me and him put bullshit for me. He's got one Okay. 
Is he in the losers? Are we got some wonderful salads on the way? And we're still tied at two. Jamie's got a chance to get out here. It's going to make the seven off the rail, off the twelve. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's fine, really. I mean, you don't, you don't want to try to really get out there anyway, because a seven, you can't get that ball to go. So what he, he wants to make his ball and obscure him from the seven, which is a good shot. Smart thinking. He's going to kick at this. He's called it. And it's going to be, I mean, it's going to hit a perfect, everything's got to be perfect, and then he's got to get a shot on the eight, which is probably not much. Okay, there's a shot on the eight now. Okay. 
Right breaks dry. Up three to two in a six five race. Greg needs three. And Jimmy needs three. He just busted completely off the side first game of this match. You did? Tip. Look aside the tip. Completely busted off the side. Ain't got a light. Completely gone. I can't even use it. I'm playing with a fucking soft tip and a fucking shaft I've never hit a ball with. Oh, one, two, three. Busted right off the side. If I use it, I'm going to crack the ferrule. Look. So right there. There is no tip right there. Look like that. Look at like it. Oh, I see it. <clears throat> I have a... Uh... Hold on. I got a feather ring. When it comes to the part. This shaft one, I've never, this is that shaft twice back that one plug it through in a year, a year and a half there, remember?
Oh, okay. That clock says looks good. I told you what I was I did. She said that's cool. Well, she knows who I am. I don't know. It's 3 3, and we got dinner. But I'm going to up and just. They're jamming up there. And just so you know, I just updated the brackets on the Mike Pool page. Um, so go to my personal page, Mike Pool, and you can see the brackets. You can also look in the Midwest Pool Tournament group, and you'll find them there as well. And I'm going to watch this while I eat my amazing salad here at John Wayne's. Yeah, I have it right here. No Yeah. 
Her feet get unbelievable. Really good. Their feet. I'm fit really nice. Well, I heard him. What did he go for in the Calcutta? Get ready to shoot. Huh? Six point one. Six <laughs> minus one. You're a six plus one. Well, if I play a five, it'd be a six five brace, correct? You already got your cues on? It's right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like five. That's kind of weird. You're not supposed to be. It's supposed to be six five, but and then he like that sound rolls off. That's fucking crazy. That's what the fucking plus one is. <laughs> How is that? Now I had to sit up there, wait for half hour. It's well worth it. Oh, yeah. There's slams up there.
Hold to the bottle. This guy. Man, I'm killing. Oh my god. I need ice water. Which my third. Is that a pitcher of ice water there? Got water in the pan. Unlock it for me. Where is it? Is it in the back? What is it? A Did you bring a case? No, I Thank 
Did you win? You did? Yeah. You can have it. I was about playing ball. Yeah. I just want playing ball. Okay. Is this cold? Yeah. It's hard in it. Oh, what a loss it's made. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, one has a Mexican bro, it was Tom. I was calling. I was talking good about it. Dude. I'm like, man, look at this. That's probably that's probably that was on my mind. Because I would have did the same mark. I thought back to me, I've gotten it all day. I don't know. That's just not luck. Fucking try to shoot the try to shoot the ball through there like we can never make it. No, absolutely not. (laughs) Not in a million years. I'm going to put this up. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait. I'm sorry. Hey, baby. Baby. Did you see what this fucking guy posted yesterday? Huh? Yesterday. He's a fucking idiot. I never seen that. He's an idiot. It's been a long time. It's three parts. Oh, kid, fuck. Oh my god. This kid's fucked up. All right, guys, we're back from dinner break. 
Wow. That was good. Travis enjoyed his mushroom Swiss burner. Sounds like I might get that tomorrow, actually. Nice menu. Full, full kitchen. You get a steak here if you want. Why is he posting about this now? Yeah. Yeah, because like, you're talking shit about this tournament, yeah. talking That's shit about the other tournament. He even tagged Alex with Smith's team. He's probably thinking, like, what yeah. the fuck's your point? Well, Alex already told me he said anything. <laughs> I already texted Alex about him. He said, Trav, I already know him. <laughs> He's like, hold on. Wow. <laughs> None of these are his events. I promise you, I booked Trust this event from the start. He, he can't get no action. That's it's driving him nuts. He's burned every bridge. He's crossed. Uh, Dude, you see what he said? You see the snake's life as oh, a baby, it. nurse it back to health, and he bites you. As an I'm the snake. I can't believe that. You've been loving him living for house for free. Yeah, for like six <laughs> months. God. He did. He's an idiot, man. He got, he got that fucking dude got in you. Serious issues. Then he says he cares about it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Tell you, man. He got, he's really fucked up. Then he tells you, he tells, then he says, you're fucked up. He said, he, he said you need help. Yeah, she took it already. I helped start the guy's career. I mean, it's so crazy. I mean, he helped me at one time, but I mean, it wasn't. No, it's just so uh, no. Oh, man, I'm just reading this post from Buffalo the other day. It's just so nutty. If you're interested, go to his page if you can see it. It's quite humorous. I like this, man. You got to get dead perfect on this seven. Ooh, we. That's a pretty window. Ah, 
Could be better, but it's got to change. I think the bank is probably your best bet. That edge of the eight is. I mean, you better be very accurate. Do not move your body at all. But the bank. Is right on the diamond. With center ball. Looks like he is back cutting this eight ball. Or he's thinking about it. You don't like it, I know that. Or dare I say, you could play a two rail bank on the eight. One pocket style. Or you can just slice and dice it. This is a real example. What a shot. What a shot. <laughs> I thought he overcut the ball. How do you overcut a ball that's like 89 degrees? It is a battle. It's hill hill. Greg's a seven. Jamie's a six. It's a six five race. This is the high side of our split bracket. I took photos not too long ago that you can check out. On my Mike Pool page. <clears throat> Let's take a look here. Everything is really open. Thank you. 
I think that cue ball moved further than what he wanted, but or maybe it's short. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're welcome. <clears throat> yeah, you're welcome. I might get that tomorrow. I might get one of them tomorrow. Oh. oh. This position play is not extremely desirable. I mean, it looks like he can't really make the 14 clean from here or the 13. And the 10 ball is a long shot, clip shot. Low percentage. And I'll play it where it lies. Greg's hoping for a mistake. That shot could definitely become one. Is this what you guys were talking about? I need a shot clock. Well, he actually moves around the table fast. He just doesn't make his decisions very fast. Well, that was probably a good choice instead of that low percentage cut shot. It's not out of the woodwork yet. What? <laughs> Shoot the ball, dude. What's up, Scott Randall? If you stare at it longer, it moves. I learned that a long time ago that I had psychic powers. It might get funny on this one. Oh, it's funny. Okay, the pattern seems quite salvageable. Center ball will get you right over by the side pocket to get a real good look on the 13 to get an open shot on the 8. <clears throat> Just a little bit of top English. And you should have the eight. Perfect. And then I'll owe $20, apparently. Because I bet Ryan $20 on this set. All right. Good set. Good set, guys. Went hill, hill. Can't complain about that. Won't take long to have another match. Just want to show some support. You can get some spots on this $2,000 choice board for many one of my monster cues.
Right, get you one of these yet? Mm. <laughs> well. Ready. How about Howard? How do you go to bed? I am going to restart the broadcast because the computer is starting to trip. It won't take me long to get back, and I haven't even called the match yet, so... It just needs a break. <clears throat> Come back.